All right. Ope. Why don't you ope? Please ope. Okay. Ope immediately. I I'm happy to ope. We, we got disconnected <laughs> for a second, I think. Sorry about that. So we are back. So if you didn't catch that, welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop Streamed. We're going to be playing Viscounts of the West Kingdom today. And Mike is going to walk us through the rules for the basic game and just the co-op rules as well. So just the basics. Yeah, and to be clear, the co-op scenario that we're playing is uh, not in the base Viscounts box. You buy what's called the Tome Saga expansion, which has uh, a co-op scenario for each of the three West Kingdom games, Architects, uh, Paladins, and Viscount. And then it also has a, for competitive play, it has a way to link all three of them together in a competitive campaign. Not that I think I'll ever play that, <laughs> but the co-op uh, scenarios are cool. So the basic idea of uh, Viscount, we are trying to get the most victory points, and even when we're playing cooperatively, we still need to get a lot of victory points. We're each going to have a Viscount, and we're going to be moving clockwise around the board between these little clearings. There's a inner, uh, kind of inner circle and outer circle clearings. We can move between those. There's arrows on the board to show it. And we're going to be taking uh, one of four actions. The trading action, which uses the blue bags, is on the outside. And that's going to basically most commonly get us resources. Like you'll see here, it's like if you have two bags, you get one gold or... One bag gets you one silver, which is money. Um, so that's generally how the trading works. The other thing you can do on the outside is we've each got these nine buildings. You'll see this at the top of our player boards. And you can put those on these little uh, open spots if you're on the outer circle. And you'll get victory points for building the buildings. You get the bonus on the spot you build on. And you also get a uh, permanent bonus from building the building, like a little advantage for the rest of the game. Uh, if you're on the inner side, you can take two actions. With crosses... If you have the right number of crosses you'll see it like needs three all these actions need a certain number of icons we'll talk about how that happens later you can get that manuscript you gain the bonus on the right here it's like an immediate resource but sometimes they even give you end game victory points and uh, manuscripts score by having a bunch of the same color like these little bookmark colors or uh, having as many sets of different colors as you can so you get uh, victory points either way and then the final thing i'm not going to explain it all because it's kind of complicated but you put these little workers on the castle if you're on the inside and basically as you get more workers on a given spot they'll eventually move in a tier to the middle and then eventually to the top of the castle and they're worth more victory points and they get you more bonuses as they move in the magic so number is like, three there for this like correct. you get three to move in you get three here to move into the middle now peter if you come over to my player board yep the key thing is that this is a deck builder you have a starting deck of cards and each turn you're gonna have three cards and you're gonna play one to the board and then on your next turn, all your cards are going to scoot over one, and you'll play another card out of your three. You'll always draw to three at the end of the turn. And Well, in that scenario, you'd probably want to build with bags. <laughs> yeah, this actually works out pretty well. Um, so, and a few things. The card you play on the turn, your leftmost card, determines how far your Viscount moves as their base movement. So this Journeyman would have me move two spaces. The Lender, when I played her, would have had me move one. You can move more by spending silver, the little coins up here, but that's the base movement. Excuse me. You add up all the icons of your people for the actions you do. So here I have five of the bags, the trading actions. So if I, for example, went to this gold space, I would uh, have five bags, two bags equals one gold. I'd get two gold resources. And to be clear, he could do that because he could move in and then right back out for two. You can't move less Correct. typically. But you have to move the full two, but you can move you can in never and out move, however you, you can want. Never move less. You can never move less. You can only right. move more with silver. Um, and you can, for every action, you can add icons. Uh, so if I wanted to get more gold in that trade, for bag trading actions, it costs one. Uh, and if you zoom in really close, you'll see it's kind of like behind the icon. Uh, for building a building, you need icons equal to the type of building. If you look above, it's three for the little ones on the right, seven for the big ones in the middle, and five for the ones on the left. And you can spend stone to supplement. Uh, the little fleur de -lis gold symbol is for putting the workers in the castle. You supplement that with gold. And the manuscripts with the cross, you supplement that with ink, uh, which is the black resource. Then uh, one thing you can do on your turn, though, is if the townsfolk on your space... And that's for any of these three spaces kind of around this guy. If they, uh, if any of their icons match the action you're taking, you can pay their cost in silver, this one silver, to trash them from the game 
and you get both their icons added to your action. So here I would plus I would have plus one bag, and you also get this little uh, effect in the upper right, which in this case would let me reorder the cards on my player board. But there's lots of different effects. Now at the end of your turn, you again have the chance to interact with these cards. You can add it to your discard pile, permanently add it to your deck by paying that same cost. And once it, uh, there, you won't get the icons because your turn's over, but you will still get the uh, upper right effect, the little, like, reshuffle cards thing here. And each card also has an effect on the bottom, or most of them do. If it's a lightning bolt, it's an immediate effect when you play them. If it's an X, it's an effect when they drop off, so after they've been on there for three rounds and fall off. And if it's a uh, kind of, like, circle, recycling-ish symbol, like the mason here... That would mean that you have an ongoing power you can use whenever you want. In his case, uh, if I was doing a building action, I could spend silver to supplement my building action. Sweet. Um, and that's like mostly it. The other thing is a lot of actions and like shuffling your deck and lots of things will move your corruption, this black marker, and your virtue, this white marker. Whenever they meet... At the end of your turn, you'll resolve a clash. It's like one of the last steps in the turn before you draw back up to three cards. You get what's above the clash, and every other player gets what's below the clash space that you ended up on. And what are these little red and black cards? Those are both a source of potential victory points and also the ending point of the game. So we've got 13 deed cards and 13 debt cards over here. When we get a red card, we get a deed card. When we get a debt card, we get a debt the crossed out flags show that debts are worth minus two victory points at first, and the deeds show that they're worth uh, one victory point. Uh, but after you gain them, you have the chance to flip them. Okay? And uh, deeds become worth three victory points when they're flipped. Debts become worth nothing, and they give you a free victory, uh, a free resource of your choice. Somebody else is grabbing cards with me. That was me. Sorry. <laughs> um. But the other thing is, whenever either of these piles uh, run out, we have one, we finish that round, and then we'll have one other full round, and that's the end of the game. Um, now, how these score is different with uh, the the uh, outlaw or overseer guy that we're fighting in this uh, co-op version. So uh, I'll explain that at the co-op. But that's like kind of the basics. Um, now, how the co-op works... So, uh, Peter and Jerry, listen to this. <laughs> what are these cards up here? Remember, these are bonuses. Yeah. If you get three yellow flags, so again, oh, okay. yellow flags gotcha. are on these. You get three victory points, three blue. You get all of them are three victory points if you get them. Yeah, and this you get one those is permanent. You get those permanent bonuses at the bottom. Correct. As soon as you and get it. this is the castle, the first per or whoever's the most people in the castle. Since we're all working together, it should be pretty easy for one of us to get. Uh, gets five victory points at the end of the game and has permanent plus one hand size while they hold that card. All right, Sweet. so the, the uh, what is he called? Oh, he's not an overseer. What the heck is he? Hold on. <laughs> I got the rule book Evil right here. Evil overlord. Overlord. He is an overlord. Good job, <laughs> nice. Peter. So uh, at the beginning of the game, he's going to start on one of the outside spots, and he will only ever be on the outside spots. Um, and he does not count as a vibe count, so if he moves on to us, he does not. Um... Did you make him three sizes too large <laughs> yeah well, i want it to be obvious where he is yes because there is actually a separate token for him but it's not in this mod and we didn't scan it in we did scan in the card so these are not in the mod either sorry um <laughs> so uh on his turn he will act after each player's turn okay after each of our turns he will act and what he does is he first moves one space or no sorry he moves a number of spaces equal to the silver cost of the topmost townsfolk on his space Right now, he would move one. Okay, and then while this guy's here, he would move another one. And then he does a different thing based on what is on the space he moved on to in terms of workers. So what are his options? Either there can be no player workers there, because we can actually put our workers on the, like, clearings. I'll explain how that works in a second. So either we have a worker there, we don't have any workers there, or he has a worker there. All right, so what are the different things? So let's say, again, I'll explain how it happens, but let's say I had a worker and then he moved into my space. He gets rid of the worker. Simple enough, right? Yep. If he moves there and there is no worker, oh, I'll get that worker back later, <laughs> he places one of his workers. Now, if there was already, uh, well, we'll get to it. And finally, if he gets to a place where there is a worker, 
he dismisses the topmost townsfolk, removes them from the game, and gets a bonus based on whatever their bonus icon is. And basically, all of these will place more workers, which is problem for us. So in this case, it says one worker clockwise and one worker counterclockwise. So he would place a worker here and a worker here of his. Got okay? it. Okay? Yep. Now, why does all this matter? First of all, if his workers ever run out, he's got 20 just like us, then we lose immediately. But if there would ever be a worker placed on a spot that already has a worker, it instead goes one in to there, and it'll keep going in until there's not a worker there. So if uh, there was a worker here and a worker there, it would go there. And eventually, if he ever gets a worker in the castle, we immediately lose. Can we remove his workers? Of course we oh, can. Oh, good. I was about <laughs> to say, that that's it's already sounding bad. But that's everything that he does. So any question about that? So he's just moving around, placing workers down. Oh, and I'm sorry. You know what? I, I lied. I lied. I, it's it's <laughs> it's just like the castle. It's not when he has one extra worker when he has here. Three. Whenever he gets three workers in a clearing, he goes one left, one right, one in. One okay. in. And he, I was about and, to say, if he only has to do one, man. <laughs> and he'll uh, he'll keep doing that if just like us in the castle, he'll keep doing that if he cascades like you know pandemic style into multiple clearings. Got it. All right. So. What happens, um, how do we get rid of his workers? Look over here at these four cards, Peter. Okay. So, um, in a two-player game, we would each have two of these, although we wouldn't have the full effect of all of them. In a three-player game, we're each going to pick one. In a four-player game, we would each pick one. And we get to pick them, so we can pick like kind of what strategy we want to go for most. So, we have a few things on here. The top tells us that anytime any player gets a manuscript with that color uh, bookmark, we get that resource. So if uh, Jerry had this one, every time any of us got a yellow manuscript, Jerry would get a gold. Ah, got it. Any of us get it. Oh, nice. That's why it's got the symbol of the player there. Got it. Um. So we want to buy the manuscripts this game. Sure. Well, we want everything. So this is the really important stuff, though, and you can probably kind of figure it out. As a bonus, whenever you take the bottom action or action, some of them have two, you can remove one of the guy's token uh, workers in your exact space. Okay. So not like in your entire like area, but in your exact space. Got it. So if I had this one, anytime I took a trading action on the outside or a building on action on the outside, I could remove one worker. All right. Yep. For this one, I can either remove one worker or if he has no workers there. So he can't have workers in places where we have workers because he'll remove them instead. We can't have workers in places where he has workers. But we can put one of our workers there to act as a little stopgap because, remember, he'll uh, remove our worker instead of... Like a barricade. Uh, exactly. Now, the question barricade. for this then, because you would do this action on the inside, right? The fleur de lis action? Correct. So what good is a worker on the inside? Because I thought he only traveled the outside. He does only travel the app. But remember, when he would get three workers here, one would go into here, setting and him up to later go, go into here and into here and into here. Well, I get that. And so if I had a worker here, instead, instead of it going there, they would both go away. His worker oh, would cancel out your got worker. Got it. Yeah, got yeah. it. Got it. Got it. Cool. Yeah, so you can think of it as like your worker kills his or his worker kills yours if you want to. Gotcha. That's overly violent. Family <laughs> okay. show, man. Oh, yeah. Family show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, they, they they say harsh words and both go back home and take their balls with them. Uh, that's not better. <laughs> I mean, come on. You know when you're a kid, I'm going home and I'm taking my uh, ball. Okay. I was trying to figure out what the heck this middle thing was, but it's just a reminder about what he does. If he reaches a face with your worker, he gets rid of it. With no worker, he places one. With one worker, he does the uh, townsfolk effects and dismisses Got it. This effect. All right, so what are you... Well, first, uh, let's look at our... So uh, another thing at yeah, the beginning of the draft. game is we each will pick a pair of player cards and hero cards. In reverse player order, right? So we've got... Yes. So we've got uh, someone who's good at building. We've got someone who's good at trading and uh, the castle. And we've got someone who's good at getting manuscripts. And then we've got a more generic just bag lady. That didn't sound right. <laughs> She's, she's generic not a bag, bag lady. She's a very nice uh, convent worker. All right, I'm going. I'm All gonna right. roll first. Four. Okay. Jerry, get on it. One. I'm first player. 
Until you... Until oh, I'm wow. not. So go. 13. Jerry's going to be first, which makes me second. So, Mike, you draft first. Oh, by, by the way, very important. I didn't say. So, to win, we have to make the game end. <laughs> so, we still need the game to end normally without him running out of workers or getting into the castle. Right, so getting a, all um, these out. And then, you'll see it up here, we need a score of 160 or more between the three of us. Oh, my goodness. Wait, where do you see that? It's right here at the top of his card. Oh. For three this is a three That's player a three card. Player card? No, no, it's always 160. Because the number of uh de deed and debt cards doesn't really change much about as you get way more turns gotcha. to earn victory. Each points. player I mean, will get more turns or whatever. I got it. Correct. So just for reference, the last time we played we scored about a total of what? One twenty? Yeah, but you all were both terrible, right? So, and we won't be competing with each other. <laughs> okay, we suck, so. Oh, yeah, we were terrible. Now, uh, can we land on each other to help each other reshuffle our board? Absolutely. Sweet. Okay. But we also, if we get four workers on the same castle spot, we have to discard one worker. But it can be his. Oh, it can be. All right. Yes. All right. So. That's the only way to get rid of his workers in the castle. All right, that's not the worst thing ever. Okay, so, Mike, draft it. Um, all right, let's see. I just did a, uh, I just did a Fleur de Lis heavy one. Do you mind if I do the manuscript guy? Go for it. Gun Your draft. Me. All right, so I'm getting these two. Jerry, I'll set up my. What would you stuff. like to do oh, in this this game? Uh, pick one. I thought Jerry wanted to build a lot, didn't you? No, I I said I wanted to build it, building a building at least, not. I don't By the way, uh, the please show you your starting resources. We're picking our start, and the flag at the top is our starting space. And whichever space one we don't take is where heal starts. I mean, I, I would like to do the gold strategy, which I tried to do last time, but now I feel like I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit better. So I would like to do a gold strategy, if you don't mind, Jerry. So I'd like to do this. Right. Go for okay. it. Whatever. All right, so I'm going to draft these two. And then I'll have Jerry draft his, and then we'll kind of explain. Um, I'll, I'll kind of explain what's going on on my board. Well, Jerry's setting up. So I get to immediately trash a card? Uh, yes, and that's from your entire deck. Seems good. And then when that goes off, you get, oh, two virtue. Oh, and it's baggy. Yep. Getting baggy with yep. it. Purchasing Getting stuff. Getting baggy with it. Nah, 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 nah. All right, so let's start with this. That's two. I start on the two space. And don't do what I did last time and just go around the board saying... Oh, this is five, then six. This should be seven. No, it's not, because these boards are random. Uh, so Just a reminder, guys, that you're starting uh, deeds and debts do not come from the supply. They come from the... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Where is the... Uh, oh, the bags right here. The bags above them. Yeah. Uh, so we should sell up 13 on both cards after we're done. So oh, I get I have to out three to get deeds of. at the bottom here. One of them is going to get flipped. So you see the on the very bottom symbol there, that red flip, that means red gets flipped. I also get a debt, though. Um, so. so where am I starting? One. I'm going to start with six coins. I'm going to start with two resources of my choice. Now, I do want to go for gold. Um, that's what I, uh, you know, why I picked her. But the other thing I want to do first is to try to build this building here. Because when I do that, that gets me a free gold every time I do it. So if you look, based on what action they're above, so this is the building in the middle action, this, you get a bonus. So for this one, you're going to get building a stone action. So I'm going to want to get to seven building. Or, no, 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 no that was he's random. starting on the one that's left. He's starting on six. So I'm going to want to get seven stone slash hammers pretty early. So I'm going to take two stone to start as my starting resource even though you would think i'd want gold um but i just want to get that building out pretty early that is my goal all right so i will shuffle them up now this card is basically done right i can just delete it correct well wait uh your player card if you flip it over it has like a quick reference for all the special so rules i'm gonna take his player card and give me the special rules because <laughs> i already deleted go. it uh, yes. So this. Well, you could also copy one of ours. Yes. This basically says whenever we end up on the same space, uh, the person whose space you ended up on. So if Jerry landed on me, gets to reorganize these over here. This is telling you for every person on the outside, 
uh, that gets taken away. So if there are four or more here, we'll explain that when it gets it. You get two coins. Here, if you take one away from the middle ring, that person gets a virtue and a resource of their choice, and everybody in the middle is going to be worth three victory points at the end of the game. This talks about how to score those oh, oh, books. Uh, everybody, I forgot. Uh, pick, you have to pick our card now, too. Which card? I'd rather have the one that's focused. Which of your cards will, like, your thing yeah. to get rid of his stuff. So you draft first. So, yeah, I'm going for the uh, the one with the... I'm taking the gold one. So manuscripts are these. Now, if you don't mind, I might... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. What do you think, Mike? Would I be able to get the three manuscripts to get that free... I mean, is it too hard to do all that, of that? That is pretty... It, it's been tough for me to do without at least some focus on getting guys. Because a lot of the manuscripts after the first ones are five or six Got it. icons needed. So yeah, I, I've never got... Three of a kind? Okay. All right. So this is how the manuscripts work, though. Uh, manuscripts Where? for each set of different colors. You get one if you have one color, four if you have two different colors, nine and then 16. And then this just talks about, um, what's the bottom thing here? The skull. Oh, this is when that you reshuffle. That reminds you that whenever you shuffle, if you have at least one skull. So I didn't talk about skulls. Those are criminals. They make your corruption track move down, but they're also wild. Yeah, so, so they they're will great. benefit like, every action you yeah. take while they're on your board. Yeah, they're amazing. So this... And you shouldn't just delete them all right at the beginning of the game, Jerry and Peter. No, <laughs> yes, not. No, I, I, yeah, I deleted mine and ignored it the entire game. So this person is one wild. So basically any resource you want, um, which is pretty darn good. This person, same thing. Um, but they are going to move you on the uh, corruption track. So, oh, and gives you two gold when it goes off. Oh, I want that swindler. Where am I? What color am I? I'm green. Yeah, I want the swindler. Wait, why do you want the swindler? Oh, I want the scoundrel. I want the scoundrel. Please try not to get rid of the swindler if we can help it, because I would like to get... Oh, no. Well, I was going to say, please don't get rid of the uh, deacon. But I'm where the, uh... super duper far away, because I start here. Well, I, 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 I'm as far away from the deacon as I could be as well. So, yeah, yes. just don't, don't trash people for a while. Don't forget, you can't even trash them until, uh, un unless you're doing the action they show, so it shouldn't be too hard. Well, to I mean, them. mine's a wild, so, yeah. <laughs> well, yes. but he costs three so don't trash it for three just oh, i'm gonna trash him on the way to the yeah scoundrel. just to be just to be <laughs> freaking uh, uh mean oh so you want the I'm scoundrel race there just so i can trash him you want the scoundrel jerry no i'm gonna i'm racing to i understand what you're saying but are, wait you're doing stone and i will pick up the scoundrel. what's what are you doing you're doing stone so i'll give you the scoundrel i will not take the scoundrel Okay. Well, you know, alternatively, I could just go get this manuscript on my first turn and grab the deacon. Oh, no, I couldn't even get there. Never mind. All right. Well, who, who's first? Did we say it was first? Jerry's first. No, uh, right, so first. All the single the Jerry's? First player all partner. the single Jerry's. Here, give, give him this big D20 so we remember that he's the starting of the round. But he's only an 18, so he's not quite where he needs to be. Boom. Just made him a 20. <laughs> there. So for those watching, uh, you'll see that the player boards have blank... Uh, space icons. You get those icons until you've like gotten your. You only have three cards, not four. Well, then I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I played my special that I just picked up. Oh wow! Uh, so she's worth three bags. Plus oh, I have yeah. two more bags. That's five bags. Seems good. That's five. I'm going to spend one silver mm -hmm. to make it six bags and get three stone. Wait, Jerry, you have to move at least three first. I already did. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you. Where were you here? I started. Here. Nice. One. Yeah, you're ready to like get a level seven building right away, man. That's great. Are you gonna buy the? Uh, are you gonna pay for the two for his? What call it too, or no? Okay, so his ability, you can choose to take a debt, which remember starts out as minus two victory points, to trash a card or discard a card from your hand or the top of your deck. And this That's, lets me reshuffle, which that lets you reshuffle, which will also immediately get you a one uh, white movement because you have no criminals in front of you. Or you could just All buy right, it yeah, and sure. add it to your... So are you buying it? or are you... so That cost Jerry two. Or I could have trashed it. You could have trashed it for one more gold to get the wild symbol and the reshuffle. So instead of spending one gold to add one symbol, you could have just added his. But yeah, I think he's better to buy. So Jerry had to spend two silver. He's going to get to reshuffle immediately, which will just shuffle that guy in and get him one white because you move your virtue one... If you have no criminals up when you shuffle, you move your corruption one if you do have criminals up. 
And yeah, new character is revealed. All right, and Jerry draws up. Peter. All right, so it's. Oh wait, uh, no, wait. First, first the Overlord. Oh. So he moves two because the Deacon has a two. He gets there. There are no workers there, so he places a worker and done. Oh, he doesn't do. When does he do the symbol? Oh, if he already has a worker there. Got it. Correct. So don't forget. I think almost all of us discard a worker with a bag action, right? I do. So do any of us not do that? I do it with a bag or with a building. Nice. Yeah. So if you can manage to make your bag action go in the right spot, that's certainly good. I mean, I can do that. I can get rid of the. I can get rid of the worker he does. I. Place I, I certainly cannot. Right. <laughs> like, all right. But I'm, actually, that's gonna be perfect. I'll even be on the. Right oh, kind of this space. lets me buy. Oh, when he goes off, this lets me buy for free from anywhere, right? Is that the way it works? So plus a card Correct. For, without paying money. Yeah. And so not just... Plus a card from anywhere and you still get the bonus. Yeah, that seems good. All right, because typically you only buy from right, exactly back. where you are. Um, that's pretty good. All right, so I got four bags. I would have loved to get the gold here. Unfortunately, I have to move at least two. I may spend a gold to move an extra space. That's Peter, that is that is the overlord. That's why he's huge and orange. I mean, <laughs> he was in my way. Well, here I could spend three to trash, but I think I'm going to spend gold to move one extra space. Which is going to let me spend two to get stone. Which seems good. All right, so I spend one money to move an extra space. So now I have two bags on here, two bags on here. So right now that's four bags, which gets me two stone. I'm just going nice. to actually copy it. Now the question is, do I keep... Huh. Do I keep buying? Because I could spend two gold to get another stone. Because my goal here is to try to get to seven pretty quickly to do this. And while I'm here... So, so in just, just in case this affects your decision, Peter, in your starting deck, you have one skull and one hammer. So theoretically, if you play both of those in sequence, you will have two hammers and would need five stone to build the big building. But in theory, actually, if I buy two now and I go down to one money... Then, then you can do it the second you I get... I can do uh, it. I have a wild card in my hand, so right away, next turn, I could actually build that building. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. I don't know that it's right, but it's what I've done. Uh, so I could buy this right, person... Overlord moves... For one You're money. You that for Jerry, right? Yeah, no, I don't want to buy that, Mason. All right, so he moves over here. He just likes to follow you, Peter, apparently. I mean, he knows what's up. <laughs> All right, I'm playing uh, the Traitor. This is a cool one because I'm going to do several bag actions in a row to start. Every time I do a bag action, I get one silver for free. That's what that little symbol means. Sweet. And he moves me exactly one, which will get me right to where the guy is. And it's a space that converts uh, bags to ink, which is the main resource I want. So that was perfect in many, All right, many so ways. You start with three bags, right? Yep, so I'm just going to spend one silver to make it four and get two ink. And then you get one silver. I'm planning on right trying. Yeah, actually, you know, with that being the case, I will spend two more and get a third ink. And then I get one back, two six from taking the bag action. And because I took a bag action, I destroy his worker back to his supply. Oh, but wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, so how does that work? So I only place a worker when I do gold actions. Okay. Got it. Yes, yes. You, you only have one way to place a worker generally. All right, so he's going to move one. And drop off a worker. I mean, yeah, we need to be trying to get rid of his workers every chance we can. I mean, I can do it down a lot. next turn. Yes, I, that, that is exactly where I'll be, and I'll be building. So that's perfect. Uh, oh, All right, well, I'm, I'm done whenever uh, Jerry is back. Sweet. Uh, I'm back. All right, Jerry. Go for it, buddy. All right. And the important thing about Jerry being first player is there is even turns. So whenever we empty these piles, that's the end of the game. Um, and we are going to continue going until everyone has had it equal turns. So if Jerry ends the game, that means both Mike and I go uh, after Jerry. And then if Mike takes the last action that takes this, then the end of the game is right there, right? We don't do another full round, do we? So once once either of those piles runs out, we finish out the current round. So get to my action. Yeah, so if I was the one who finished it, we would do one entire round. You have one entire round after the round in which the cards are okay. done. And there are more of those cards. Those are basically an unlimited resource. They're in the bag here. But So we have 13 or 13 till we get to that point. 
All right, so Jerry, what did you do, bud? I played the financier. Yep. Discarded this one. Got two gold. Moved three up to here. And took six gold because I have six bets. Nice. Yeah, and both for those calling icons and a little X, which is the discard icon, you can either do from your hand or your uh, deck blind from the top of your deck. You can never mess with your discard pile for anything, basically. So, by the way, I need three money before I get back here. How do you get money again, Mike? You just uh, the, go where I went. Yeah, the main ways that there are, I think, two spaces around the board that let you trade in bags for silver. Okay. Well, this lets me trade in bags for gold, which is unfortunate because that's what I'd want to do. The Peter, the if you want to know the uh, the Overlord's current spot is where the other silver's trading space. Okay, so it's so one you can move more. two, you can get a bunch of silver well, and get rid. Well, of the for worker. now, I'm going to do this for sure. Um, so I get to build because it's a wild. Um, so. Oh, I could pay one. Jerry, you wanted the mason, though, right? Yeah, so I'm not going to do that. I don't really care about the mason. I still don't think I should pay the one. Well, what do you what do you think? That would let me reorganize my stuff. Now, can you reorganize, like, to the end of the track? Could I, like, do this? No, so uh, when you're reorganizing, you have to be switching cards with each other. The designer clarified on BGG that you can never Okay, because that would have been sweet. That would open up a hammer <laughs> if I did that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. So, by the way, this is never an issue except at the beginning of the game, right? Like this, um, these icons underneath are only shown at the beginning for the first two turns of the game. All right. So, I am going to build a building there. Um, I have one skull plus six stone here, so that's a total of seven. So, I'm going to do that to build a guild hall. Now, I have a choice. There are two spots here and here. I'm going to build it here, which gets me a resource, and I'm going to get a gold resource. So now... And you'll see there are little lines connecting it. Now if, like, Jerry or I builds uh, a building on this opposite spot, both Peter and the person building there would get a stone. So I destroy his worker when I do that. Nice. Oh. But then he moves and places... Well, hold on, hold on. One, Did two, I finish my turn? I, I could oh, have, I'm sorry. Do you want I to buy? I could have bought this person, I guess, but I'm not going to. Um... Yep, so I guess that is it, right? So he's going over here. And he's dropping there. Alrighty. So I want to play her and do another bag action while the bag actioning is good before I transition to something else. She only moves me one. Bag actioning is good. So what do y'all think? I could spend two more silver and take out his worker here. Yeah, and get a bunch of stone to get an early building. That seems smart. So I'm going to spend two silver to move more. Down to four silver. Um, although I did want that uh, scoundrel, but I guess Jerry can use her more than I can. Uh, I've got five uh, bag icons. I'm going to spend one more silver to make it six. That'll get me three stone. Oh, that's an ink. So oh, four we've got a now. lot of stuff actually... going on in the chat. We got Hugo saying hello, everyone. Hello, Hugo. Uh, we got Steve saying hello, Hugo. Uh, all right, so I'm going to ignore all that. Just FYI, not a huge deal, but there is a delay between Mike's audio and video. Everyone else seems fine. Yeah. I'm just going to turn off my video. I didn't want to have it anyway. Now you'll never know. <laughs> All right. So if Mike's turning off his, then I am going to move his video so you guys don't have to see it anymore. Boom. I just made Mike disappear. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to say I got rid of the Mason instead of spending my own money. Because you, you said you don't care about him, right, Jerry? Not really. That'll let me reorganize. Um, oh, and I got a silver from doing a bag action with my bonus guy. Uh, I'm going to switch these two because the lender gives me a flip card when she falls off. So I want her to fall off faster. That makes sense. And this guy is gone forever. And let's see, do I want to buy this guy? Ooh, that guy's amazing for you, Peter. I mean, too bad he is as far away as humanly possible, but yeah. I mean, you know, you, you, well, you're going to get your free hire in a little while, aren't you? Any from anywhere on the board? Wait, how does that work? Don't you have a card that when it falls oh, yes. off, right this here? Guy, yeah, so you, you'll be able to get him in just a little Sweet. bit. Sweet. All right, I am. Uh, I am done though. So the overlord's moving too. He's saying hi to Jerry. Dropping off a worker. And he's dropping a guy off. So far, we've done a pretty good job of uh, keeping him in check. Him. I do like how quick this stuff happens. All right, but I need... All right, so it's my turn. Oh, yep. yeah, I need to be there. Sorry. Yep. All right, I'll do a laborer. 
Uh, let's see. And you want the swindler? I would like to get the swindler, yes. You know what? Here's the other coin one, Mike. So it's right where the swindler yep. is. I'm not going to be able to get this one. That's the problem. But the person that I have with bags moves me three. There's just no way to do it. All right. I, I'm yeah, going to pay one to discard the scoundrel. Uh, okay. So you get to discard a card from your hand or top of your deck if you want. And... Hmm. Who came up? Aristocrat. I guess that's another good one potentially for you, Peter. Where? The aristocrat that just popped up? I will discard the Sure, Adam. but I'd rather... I mean, this one's way better. And then I well, will yes. build... And this one's really good. I Two gold is... Seven hammers. Or seven hammers. One, oh, wow. from, one skull from the scoundrel I discarded. Uh, one from the laborer and five stone. Nice, dude. Build the thing that lets me build more. And that puts you... That gives you a worker, right? And... Jerry, is that correct? Uh, it, yes. So, yeah, you put a little stopgap there, and you get to call a card, Jerry, if that's a spot you're picking. Yes, I am calling the the abbot. Nice. All right. Sorry, guys, I don't... Jerry, do you want to buy the... Uh, hold on, we need to move yeah. the guy first. Do you want to buy the aristocrat? I'm assuming no. Um, what's that get me? Florida Lee or a, and a bag. And... I can trash or discard when I play it. Hmm. That's intriguing. But I mean, no. It's not bad for some of us that, like, more than one of us that flirt at so we can combo into the castle and get rid of his Whoa, guys. Sure. All right, uh, you're Absolutely. up, Peter. Ah, fine, I'll take it. So he is, um, just to note, he's going to move one this turn now because a new town folk is there. Ooh, I want her if I can get her since she gives a uh, ink. Um, so that'll be safe. We're safe for the moment, but oh, from here he would move two to there, so he would pop All potentially. Right, so I'm going one, two. I'll, I'll try to get there if I can. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go one, two, three. I think. I mean, I could start doing now. I think I'm gonna do three. All right, so this moves over. I'm gonna do a three move with the bag on it. So one, two, three to get back up here. And I have one, two bags plus a wild is three bags, four bags. So I'm going to get two stone. Not trying to build up stone, but it's where I am in this uh, crazy, crazy world of ours. <laughs> All right, I am done. All right, so he's moving one, leaving a worker where I am. Oh, wait. No, I couldn't about that. All right. All right, so I'm going to do something different than I was going to do. So I'm realizing having money is going to be super important to like move to the right spots to counter him. So I'm going to play my financer. Um, so immediately get two me money. two money. And you get to discard a card from your hand. You get to discard from the top of my deck and just take a chance. That's fine with me, although he is a free hire. Oh, well. Um, and then uh, I'm not going to discard the... Oh, sorry. I'm moving three. So I'm going to go down... Up and nice. over, and on that spot. And then I've got one, two, three, four bags. So I'm going to get four more silver. And get rid of this. And one more from the bonus for my trader, so I am rich. And get rid of his worker. Now, are you going to buy this so now he card? Um, Are any of us the builder? Oh, Jerry is I the mean, builder. Never mind. I'm planning to like maybe build once. I don't really want it, so now I'm not going to okay. do it. All right, and... Then he moves to my spot and leaves another worker there. Now, where is he going to move from here? Three, one, two, three. Okay, so it's actually yeah, probably be better now. that you didn't do that. So it's my turn again? Yep. All right, so this comes off. I get to discard for my hand. I'll discard that one. I move my virtue marker to. I'm close to a conflict, guys, just so you know. That's okay. Uh, Wait. I mean, I don't think any of us have played criminals yet, am right? I so. gonna play? Okay. I have a skull, play the yeah. Thief. Oh, wait a minute. I was supposed to get two and discard a card last turn. So hold on. Sorry. That's the hard part. Oh, so, so I, I got the here. money I needed, actually. Um, so do I want to discard a card? Yeah. Uh, 
Wait a minute, you're still doing your Well, turn. I messed up. I was supposed to... I forgot it was a lightning bolt action. Uh, so which one of these would I have gotten rid of? I'll get rid of this one. Okay. All right, Jerry, go ahead. All right, I am going to build a building for three because I have the skull, a hammer, and the permanent hammer. Nice, man. I'm going to put it here. That gets me a yes. stone. Now you... That is move a worker laterally, which is going to get you nothing, Jerry. I can't move this guy. Oh. 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 Oh, maybe. Uh... And I kill this worker for building. Yeah, I mean, I would guess that yes, you could. Yeah, I think you can. So go ahead, I guess. I mean, does it? Well, I mean, he's already got one here, I'm thinking, you know. Sure, sure, sure. Um. Because what did this get me? This got me. This gets me a flip, which I want. So if you flip oh, so a, get a, get, get a resource of your choice immediately. What does this get you? Nothing. All right. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. So my hand size is now plus one. So I draw three cards, or I draw one. All right, so you get to four cards. Oh, now when you reshuffle, that does move something. Did you have a skull uh, on your board? You did, so that... Yeah. Yeah, so if you look at the bottom of the card here, it shows if you have at least one yep, corrupt fine. person, it moves your corruption track when you reshuffle. That's what that means. If you don't, you move the, your virtue. That. Okay, yeah, mine are pretty far apart. Uh, I've done nothing with virtue or corruption. So, what is it when you play a skull that, and you already have a skull, you take corruption? Is that it? So, every time you play a skull, you immediately move your black marker equal to the total number of skulls on your board. So, uh, when you played the thief, you would have moved it one. So I did not do we that. We do have a conflict then. Yes. When I so, reshuffled, we did a conflict. So, Peter, you're getting oh, one corruption move because you have a criminal on your board. And, Jerry, you're getting a silver and one red card. Well, hold on. It doesn't trigger until I redraw at the end so it waits until next turn right well that uh oh oh yes yes sorry if you just shuffled and got yes. the move yeah because it happens right. at this point is when the conflicts happen so if you look across yeah. the top of the board this is like the turn structure so first you move cards off triggering their x abilities that's like the first thing then you can buy the card on your space just for the icons right or no what's this plus here is that that no, that's you put a new card down. Yes, that, oh. that is you discarding off the edge of your board, putting a new card down, gaining corruption if it's a criminal, yep. moving, uh, dismissing the guy on your space if you want to, and then one of the four your actions, action, hiring if you want to, clash if it happened, draw back up. Okay, so that was clear as it could be. Um, <laughs> all right, so he's going to move now, though, right? So he moves three, one, two, three, drops the worker off. Yep. Yep. All right, where am I? I knew where I was a second ago. Ah, I'm here. All right. I had a plan. Everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. So I move him off, and that lets me get something for free and moves my virtue one, which seems good. I'm going to get this person for free because that is really good for me for every two bags. And immediately gain uh, another virtue move. Oh, I forgot to do something. Oh, when now. you buy something, you get that? Go ahead and do what you... Anytime you buy him, through any effect. Now, you do not get his icons, even if you took a bag action Got this it. turn, but... So, what do you have to do, Jerry? I could have bought this one. Well, buy it. Yeah, go ahead and buy Well, I mean, it did mess nah, up his movements. Buy it next time around. I'm fine. Well, that's the scoundrel I want anyway, Jerry, because it gives you ink, if, if you can save him for me. So in other words, don't do it. Uh, okay. Because Jerry, I think I think you bought the other scoundrel. No, I trashed it. But that's fine. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right. I can actually do a build. So what does this person do? Oh, this lets you move one extra whenever you're moving. Yeah, which is pretty nice. That <laughs> is nice for free. This lets you discard the card on your space for one, no matter what. And Correct. this one, and that gives you two extra bags anytime you take a trading. Oh, action. only for trading action though. So I couldn't use it for this, for example. No, no, no. It counts as just two bags, so that would give you an extra 
that every time you took that. Oh, that so it's two bags no matter what. It's not just for trading action. Yeah, it's just it's just like oh, you have two yeah. permanent so bags. So I want to build that bad. Uh, five. I've got one, yes. two, three, four. Oh, I'm one short. Uh, want to build now. Uh, so one space away is ink. No, so that's not going to do it. So if I can move three, I could buy this person that I'm looking to buy. Oh, I could also... If there's a person in the space, so I could just dismiss this person, but I don't want to do that. That's the guy you want yes, to do. Yes, <laughs> I know, I know. All right, so let's think what else I could do then. All right, well, I have to move these two down. So I've got a wild... I mean, all right, maybe I just go to the middle and start working on that, right? I mean, that's my end goal here. So I go two spaces, one, two. Right? And then I have one, two. Oh, the person just fell. Oh, no, I bought that person. Never mind. All right, so I have one, two. So how did the Fleur de Lis work? So it's up here. If you have at least three, you can get two workers. If you have at least five, you can put three workers. If you have at least All eight, right, you can so put I'm going to spend the gold probably the best to bet, get to three. And now I can put three workers, or two workers, two, I'm sorry, two. in the place I am. And then I'm going to put one on yep. my space. That is correct. Because that... Which is good with him having a ton of guys there. Yes. And then he's moving two, which means he misses. Oh, and actually he takes out uh, Jerry's worker. Here you go, Jerry. So he doesn't put a worker down. See? Good thing I moved Yes. Him. You planned it just like that. All right. Um... You're done, Peter. You're not buying your person. Uh, no, because I gotta save. I gotta get this the money for this. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. My right, person went off. Oh, I did get the person for free. Okay. All right. Good. Yes. So my lender fell off. I get a free flip. I'll go ahead and flip my one debt. Which gets you a free resource. Get a, I'll get a stone. I mean, you seem to have a lot of stone and ink. That seems good. Well, that's because I'm gonna build my level seven building when I can, and then I'm gonna make a lot of manuscripts. But not why well, I'm gonna start on the manuscript game. I'm gonna put down Guntrum because I know my next, my last two cards are my uh, my cross and my wild, so I know I'll be able to keep doing manuscripts. So I can move um, two. I'm gonna go to where you are, Peter. So hey, uh, feel free to reorganize Actually, your board. Actually, might do that now when this drops off. Oh wait. And yeah, I can put. We can have an extra worker here. I just realized that's kind of a waste, but we can have more than one worker in the same spot. Um, um, or maybe no. You know what? I'll. Hmm. Are you reorganizing? Or are you going to be where I am, or are you going to go another space? Yeah, I'll go where you are. So go ahead. If I mean, it doesn't really help me. So you choose. No, it's fine. All right, so I'm going to spend uh, two ink wells because I only have one. Cross. So I'm reorganizing to keep this... my wild in a little bit longer. Uh, so I'm getting four money, but I'm going to buy the deacon for two. So I'm just getting two more money. Oh, man. And that gets me a white uh, virtue shift. All right. Um, I'm done. I'll move the dude. Yep. How far is he moving? Three. Three. One, oh, two. he does end up oh. there. All right. So, so he dismisses her. She had a green X. An X. So, so he puts, he moves. What the heck is that? Um, one worker on his space, one in. Which is actually good. He doesn't put any more workers. And now if one of us can do our special action there, we'll just take care of him. Uh, that sucks. I was <clears throat> going to do something. But oh well. I mean, you still are going to do something. Right. You're just not going to do what you want to do. Let's be honest. Uh, so somebody dropped off for you, which didn't do anything. Alright. Uh, so now what, the conflict goes off? Yep. At the end of your full turn, yeah. Wait. So you get one oh, silver yeah. and a... Oh, at the end? Yeah, because it happens here. At the end of your turn. It's right before the draw phase. Because you could, you could still move it. If you got it like more uh, virtue shifted, you would get extra cards, for example. Okay. Um, hmm. Or if you got corruption shifted, we, well, I wouldn't get a corruption. <laughs> there you go. So wait a minute. Or So this lets me... Sh I shift it whenever there's a conflict? Wait, what? Oh, I didn't put my worker down. 
No, you, when you build this building? So, uh, yes, build. th th this building means that whenever anybody has a conflict, before the conflict is resolved, you get one shift if you don't have any criminals. Notice the zero criminal symbol there. Oh, so. So it might not be too good for you if you're buying criminals. Pretty well. All right, so I'm doing the bag action while I'm moving here and doing the bag action. So if you had had a guy there, it would have killed him, but... Oh, yeah. So two bags for every so stone? Three bags... Minus one silver, four bags. For two stone. That gets me two stone. Oh my god, Peter, did you see this guy? Which guy? The guy on Jerry's face. Oh gosh! I mean, he, he makes you more corrupt by doing the action, but he is amazing to get into the castle a bunch. If you get him and your bag to castle a uh, person, you're ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, All right, so let's be I'm honest. I'm ridiculous off. anyway. Alright, so, uh, Peter, if you I get a corruption, at least yeah, one I still have criminal, criminal, you get a corruption, yeah. So, you don't get this. So, like, if he was over here, that would only be if you have no criminals, you'd get to move your virtue over. So, right now, do you have a criminal? No. Correct. So, so do you not. don't move anything at all. So, it's Correct. exactly what's under where the conflict happened. And Jerry gets exactly what's over. So, he right. got a, what, a deed and a, a deed money. and a gold. All right, I moved the Overlord, and he dropped a worker. Where is he moving next And he time? is going to pop that spot unless somebody stops him. Uh, but what's it going to do? Black Corruption does what? He um, two people? He will move two, place two people on the next spot uh, clockwise. So here he'll place two guys. I mean, I was planning on going here and putting more guys in the castle. Go just because that's kind of where I am right now. I'm planning on going here and going to the castle, so we're we're putting things to stop him. All right, so I move two over, uh, which drops this off, which doesn't do anything. But I'm gonna play Bertha. Oh, what does she let me do? Move a person, or move this? I think immediately move a worker sideways. I think I'm gonna or move my virtue. virtue. Oh no no no! Oh no no no! I'm gonna move a worker sideways to here because check it check uh, check it check it check it out i no, move three two one two three to here and then i have one two three fleur de lis which lets me put two workers in here so now yep. we'll explain how this works so when you have yeah so oh yeah good. you go ahead well so every time uh you have at the end of your action three or more three or more workers in the spot uh, one goes to the clockwise, one goes counterclockwise, and one goes in. And you get the bonus of the right. in space so immediately, which is going to be two virtues. I move one here, here, I move one here, and I move one in. And now instead of getting one virtue, I get two, which is, is going to cause a clash. Yep. Um, and then, oh, and I wanted to buy this person, right? That was like, oh, yep. I could have had one more, which wouldn't have done me any good. So, yes, I'm going to buy this person. Oh, but it is going to move me one toward black. Which isn't... Which is okay. You need the silver, so it might be better for you to get two silver instead of one. Yeah. All right. So I'm definitely buying the three. So I'm going to buy this person. Because that happens before. That happens here. So uh, I immediately get a shift. So both of them are going to go together yeah. and move over one. You guys are going to get to rejigger yeah. your board, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Oh. That's not... Well, it doesn't really matter for me, but it's um, so cool. And I put my person here. And so I think that is it for me. Uh, so now we're to the clash phase. So I do have a clash. I get one of each type of card. I am going to be, uh, if you guys ever watch Seinfeld, I'm going to be, uh, what was Seinfeld? He was like middleman, like always the same, like right down the middle. Not too good, not too bad. <laughs> oh, what did you clash on? Uh, the middle. So you get to redo your board. Oh, okay. So yeah, that, that's why we did our board. All right, then Vike, uh, Overlord's moving three. There is a person there. He's dismissing new person, which is a green X. Isn't that the one that sends him in? I think that's okay. Uh, green X does send it in, so which just destroys it. Oh, and don't you have a guy there? So, yeah, they just cancel out. I like that. I mean, that were Oh, so buying that actually helped us. He's going to go one, two, three way, yeah. to there, which is nothing. All right. Cool with that. All right, so I'm up. Yep. So financer drops off. I'm going to go get a soda real quick, um, fellas. I'll be right back. Oh, I want to do a, here. Start comboing with
Is this the co-op expansion? Yes, Virga. This is the co-op expansion. Um, really, it's... Yeah, we're playing. So Mike has it. Now, the, the mod itself on TTS does not have it. Um, but we have it, so Mike just scanned in the cards, and we uploaded them. Uh, so it's basically this card, this card, this card, and this card is really... And, and the thing is, it's all um, it's all reference materials. Like, nothing is shuffled. It's just things to remind you how things work. So, like, you know, if you had it... If you, if you bought the expansion and had it in front of you, you also wouldn't need to add anything to the mod. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Right, we so did I... it just so you guys could see it a lot easier, what the mod does. But the other reason we did it is... Uh, I mean, we're not going to keep this, right? Like, I mean, we're not uploading the mod or anything else. We're doing it just for nah, us. Nah, nah. Um, I mean, that's, that's one of our rules here. We do not... Um, play any games or show any games that we don't have a physical copy of um because we do think it's you know the the publisher's right to sell games and we don't think we should play games for free that um you know would take money out of the publisher or the designer's pocket so um we want to support that but we also want to show off really cool games too so that's that's the hard part here with the uh, stream channel we're we're trying to do the best but uh we do want to show you co-op which is really hard to do when we can't get together um so so by the way, just a quick uh, check-in. I uh, bought a manuscript at this spot by paying one extra to move. I uh, placed a worker there from the manuscript. Oh, I hired... A stone. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, who has... Me. I bought a blue and a gray manuscript. Does anybody get a bonus from the blue manuscript? So wait, do I get a bonus yeah, every time I put dudes... Oh, no, no, no. This is just for buying manuscripts. No, no, that's a yellow manuscript. Got it. All right, so yeah, the blue manuscript benefits no one. The first one I bought. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then I bought the uh, the dude on my space, the scoundrel. She let me discard the squire from my hand, which means I am shuffling. I do have a criminal, so I move my corruption one, and I am done. Every day so I'm move shuffling. Move the uh, overlord. All right, so move the lord three. One, two, three. All right, yeah. fellas, I will Jeez, be right back. Stuff. I'm going to play her, which immediately lets me destroy or discard a card. Oh, well, first I get to flip for her going over. Yep. So I get to... I'll destroy the financier. I know, you can't do it from your discard pile, Jerry. It has to be from your hand or the top of your deck blind. Oh, it's the hand that you destroy? Hand from? or top of your deck, correct. Yeah, fine, I'll get rid of this guy then. I don't really care about him. All right, um... And so that may, makes me move two. So I have two hammers and five stones, so I could build one of the big ones. Or I could build one of the little ones and get the two perma bags. Two perma bags is pretty good. That's right, I need to build that. But it's not worth very many victory points, is the problem. But I'll do that. All right, so that goes here. That gets rid of his dude. Bye, dude. <laughs> um, so that cost me five. So I have one, two, three, four, and I won't delete the fifth because I'm putting it on some place that gets me one. Stone. Nice. And I think that it. Did that you get this it. lightning bolt action at the beginning right. of your turn? Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. He's moving. No worker there. So he just places one. So where would he be moving? So Next off. turn, he will pop over here, but we have two workers to block him, so it's not too dangerous. Okay. Oh, wait. I could have bought this, which I do want to do. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. And so you get to rejigger your, uh, your line. Yeah. yeah, she's really good. All right, so while you're doing that, I'm going to drop off my Thief, which does give me a Corruption card or uh, debt. And it also gets me a coin. Let's not forget the positives there. Good job, Thief. Uh, what do I want to do? I mean, I've already got a bag up there, so more bags wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I'm here. More bags would get me to here, which would get me inkwells, which is not great. Ooh, but if I spend one coin, I can move an extra space. To start getting some gold. Maybe that's what I do. 
Oh, and then I could buy this person who seems... Oh, no, you wanted this tinker, right? Because it gives you an inkwell, or...? No, 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 you, you can take him if you want. I mean, he does have a... I'm, I'm, I'm certainly not going to buy him. Those would be literally the two actions I plan never to do in the game if I can help him. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to... I'm going to try for the Disciple next. Oh, wait a minute. I keep Although forgetting like I get a free one. The disciple. That sucks. I keep forgetting I get a free Fleur de Lis. So actually, I had four last time. Not that that helps. I need a fifth one. Um, but I, I, yeah, I, I do not want to forget supplement. that I get that. Uh, so this costs five and I don't have any hammers, but I do have two stone. So maybe I do that action and I build. So one, two would get me here. If I go one more, I could build here, which would get me a gold, but gets both of us a corruption card, which isn't the best. But it would let me buy this person also. Um, although I want three money by the time I get here. Is there a way to get money here? Is this one a money one? No. Uh, uh, the next money one is up here, which you already passed. Yeah, okay. All right, so I am going to do this too. Which moves me one, two. Gets me here. I am going to pay one more to go one more just to get rid of this worker. So that's one coin. And then I am going to... I got one hammer plus two stone. Wait, wait, wait. Why did I think I had more? So I can only build one of these. Why did I think I was getting five? All right. So this would let me... If I don't have that, move my virtue, give me plus one hand size. And that's just plus one hand size. Or so discard a card whenever I buy a card, which isn't great. Yeah, I thought for some reason I was doing something better than that. But I wanted to build one of these five point buildings, but I can't. All right. Um, you know what? Well, forget that then. I'm going to do one movement only instead for this two bag person. So I'm just going to go to... Wait, I was down here. So that would be Correct. here. So I'm still spending the one money to move here. Okay. I've got one, two, three bags right now. I could spend one money to get me another bag, but I'm just going to get the one gold. So I'm wasting a bag. All right. Um, but then I am going to buy this person for two. Nice. Which moves my virtue. Uh, one space. All right. And that's it. Sorry about that. All right, so he's going one, two, three. He's trashing the lady I wanted, which is annoying. Uh, it's a shuffle, which has placed two more workers there. And don't forget, he wins from also... So he, oh, my gosh, he's uh, setting up a lot of dangerous spots here. This one goes in. And, and the destroys. third guy goes in and gets... Or take yours back, Peter, since you'll be placing them Correct. in the castle. I don't need mine for anything yep. else. Oh, yeah, and then he's going to move to here, which is safe, so that's good at least. But, yeah, I mean, don't forget that we lose if we can't place a worker, so we do have to sometimes maybe go to the outside and just attack him. We can't just block off the inside for the entire game. Yes. All right, this guy's falling off for me. Um, I'll play the abbot. I'm going to pay one to go one, two, three to get there, so I take off his worker. I have three uh, uh, crosses that and do you anything. And a gold, which gives me a gold. Yay! Yep. And I get a resource of my choice, which will be um, another inkwell. And I discard his worker back to his... Oh, wait. I have to reshuffle. Um, so is it only my board I look at? Yes, right? So I move my virtue. Correct. Yeah, you only look at your okay. board. All right, um, I'm done. Did you so move he's your guy? moving. Nope. Uh, two, dropping off here. All right. So if she comes off. Nothing happens. He is gonna get here and. Well, no, I'll, I'll get. I'll get that. Oh, is that Jerry's turn? Never mind. It's after Jerry's turn. Yeah, he's uh, gonna. Yeah, I can't do it. I'm gonna play the racketeer. So that moves my corruption one or two. Um, it moves it two because it's the total corruption that you are criminals icons that you have on your board. Okay. I'm going full corruption apparently. Um, 
And then I will move one. Jerry, you two. are a bad, bad man. Oh, nice, Jerry. You're going to take out one of those. And then I will build. So I have three, four. And this means anybody. Oh. Four. Th yeah, that means uh, anything two. only costs one to dismiss. Correct. So I or will plus one movement whenever you want. Two to kill one. that guy. So you do get... Right, and you get a virtue shift. So you have to be building and this turn, hammer. though, right? Yes. Okay. yes. Sweet. I am. One, two, three, four. Five. Five. On your board. Oh. So you don't even need to spend this down. Um... Well, why'd you spend the two gold, Jerry? Wouldn't you rather keep the silver? Seems well, like I a spend... waste of money. Huh? Seems like a waste of money, doesn't it? What are you talking about? I guess. Oh, to buy him? Then I just put... For the virtue shift? Well, yeah, I, I would think... say buy him instead of... I still get the virtue shift for buying yes. him, though, right? at the end of your right. Now, you would have to use one stone to build sure. the five building, then. Yeah, yeah. So now anybody cost me one... To dismiss, correct. Not to buy, just to dismiss. Oh, that kind of sucks. Or, or plus, one, plus movement. one movement anytime you want it. Sure. And then you get to flip something uh, over. One of these guys went away. Oh, why don't you... Oh, you don't have corruption cards to flip. Holy cow. Oh, wait. This would let me buy anybody? Correct. Yeah, seems better than two victory points. There's got to be somebody better. Now, Jerry, at some point you're going to run out of buildings. I'll just tell you as somebody who's gone the building route before. So be don't, don't go so 100% building that you don't do anything else. <laughs> I'll buy this person. Nice. So you get, what is it? A shuffle? A discard. Oh, that's good. Uh, he's going to only move one now. Uh, who do I want to discard? Well, I'm getting rid of this. Oh, right, right, right. And the racketeer I can use whenever? Correct. It's just an ongoing, whenever you want to take a debt, you can use his ability. Sure, I'll take a debt. Alright, well, while he's figuring that out, Kill let's move the jobber. He moves one, puts down a guy. Okay. I love that we've introduced jobber to your vocabulary, by the way. Yes. <laughs> okay. And he's going to move to a nothing spot again next turn and nothing spot again the turn after that if we don't. Well, yeah, anything. I was probably going to go here and get rid of this, just as you said, just to get rid of some stuff. Although three three sure, to sure. destroy a card, I don't know that I want that. Um, what, So where can you destroy from? Your discard or your hand? No, your deck or your hand. And you just discard a random card from the top of your deck? Correct. Which doesn't seem... Wonderful, if I'm <laughs> going to be honest. So maybe I'm not going to do that. Uh, could move three. One, two, three. I still have this and this, so that's two. And I have a gold, so that would be a third one. Uh, I do want to buy this person, but I just don't have the money to do it. Financier would give me money, though. I'm still be one short. So, where could I go for three with her? You could go one, two, three, or one, two, three, which would get me gold. She isn't the worst thing in the world. All right. So, I'm going to do this. I am going to move three. One, two, three. Oh, nice. Uh, so, I am going to I get two gold immediately, or two silver, I'm sorry. But I'm going to spend one of it. Don't forget to do your discard power, Peter, if you want to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to discard a card also. Um, Yeah, I'm not going to need this person anytime soon. All right. So I did my discard power. I got two money. I am going to spend one extra money because I have three. Oh, no, I have four bags. Never mind. So I get two gold. Nice. Which seems good. Uh, he's popping over. Oh, do you, you can't afford that guy, right, Peter? Yeah, no, unfortunately, guy. I'm one short. All right, he drops off a worker. Can I take a debt card um, to get a loan and take uh, one money? Good try. <laughs> so 
So Guntrum is dropping off. I can either gain a debt and flip a deed or gain a deed and flip a debt. But I don't have a debt to flip, so I'm going to gain a debt. Flip one of my two deeds. Um, and then... What do I want to do? Yeah, I'm going to play my laborer. I'm actually going to build a building. So I can move Well, hold on. To... This worker goes away, too. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Good call. Uh, all right, so I move here. Jerry, I'm going to get you two silver, by the way. How are you getting Jerry two um, silver? Because I'm building my get a cross every turn building right here. So I get an ink, and we both get two silver. Oh, nice. Um, should I trash the swindler? Mike, I assume if you move somebody within the castle, you don't keep getting benefits, do you? You cannot move them with... You see how there's no left-right arrow? They oh, do not. They cannot move Only on the outside. Only once okay. they're on, on level two. Or level. You got it. All right. Um, Wait, do they have a person here? I believe... Oh, no, that's you. Okay. I mean, I could get the swindler. Um, cause it, yeah, I guess I got the... Or, Jerry, do you really want the swindler? I kind of rather buy the peddler in a second. Yeah, buy the peddler, because that's two stone right, for Jerry. So I, I'm done then. If one of you wants to move the uh, dude. All right, so he moves two. Uno dos, dropping a worker here. That's and he's it. about to go one, two, three to where Jerry is. Moves one worker. Okay. Well, not much we can do about it. Well, yes. When I say not much, I mean literally zero. All right, so Jerry moved somebody off. Did you get the thief bonus? Jerry, you with us? It's not really a bonus, dude. I mean, it's a gold and a corruption. Or a debt. And a, and a debt. All right, so I moved here. Um, and I am going to... Cost oh my four gosh. bags to flip, or I could. Oh, I could yeah. trash the peddler. Do you really want the peddler? I'd like the peddler. He gets me more ink every time anyone has a clash while he's out, than he's three bags. Because that'd be four, five, six bags. That wouldn't get me too much. All right, um, uh, that's fine. I'll build then. So one, two, three hammers, four hammers. Uh. So one stone, I see. Sure, we'll do five. All right. And either I can get a deed or a stone. I mean, I feel like you're still in the building stage. Yeah. All right. And she, whenever I build, well, first he loses a guy from here, which is why I built there. Oh yeah, and then she. Oh man, you get to call get every time to, you build. Call, yes. Nice. So, that... so I'm going to call the financier. Yep. Boo. Yeah. All right, and then he's moving. That's right you. To where you That's are. That's you. That's you. That is you. That is me. <laughs> I was like, man, I, I, mis I miscounted. I didn't think he was moving to where. All right, he's moving here. Uh, he's trashing the swindler <coughs> that I didn't buy. Which has, uh, uh, so, so he puts a... two to the next space. Right? Yes. I got one. Two. How many we got in there? Eleven, okay. Alright, so he's moving two to where Jerry is, but there's no way I get there. One, yeah. two, three. I mean, I could get there, but I, would, I don't even want to get there. <laughs> like, there's literally nothing for me there. Right, right. Uh, Alright, so this person comes off doing nothing. Um... So I'm going to put this person on the board. So I'm going to buy for five. So I do get to move two. One, two, which gets me stone. One more gets me ink. I mean, maybe I do go there. Gosh, that's pretty far. One, two. So I'd have to pay two gold to get there. But I do have the two gold. But then I'd literally only be able to flip one. 
Uh, I'm going to do the stone because I'm still trying to build some buildings. So one, two gets me here. Uh, I will spend one gold. Well, hold on. Let me... Oh, nice. Your, your building still takes away his workers. That's cool. Oh, actually, I want to buy this person. Never mind. I'm not going to spend the gold. So I'm only going to get two stone, but that's fine. Right? Remember, it's uh, silver, Peter. Gold is what you use to boost your castle actions. Right, right. I, I meant silver. Yes, I'm sorry. A stone, right? right it's I, stone. I took his worker away. It's stone I'm getting, correct? Yes, you are getting stone. Okay, so I'm not spending silver, So, but I am going to spend two to get this one. Um, nice. Yeah, because she seems good, and I get to discard a card from my hand. I will discard the traitor, because you're a traitor, and you're not worthy of my love. All right, he's popping three, because you bought that. She goes to her. Rejigger. Means he places one in either direction, which is not going to pop anything yet. So is it either or both, or how does that... Oh, in both directions. Okay. But then he is going to do something nasty when he gets here. Is that next turn? Well, actually, no, not, not, not too nasty. Never mind. He'll move one and just move one guy in, which is kind of better for us because he's not putting anybody down. Well, yeah, because I can get rid of it, potentially. All right, my thief falls off, which means I get a debt and a silver. God, I got way too much silver. <laughs> um, I'm going to play my deacon to do some more manuscripting. I mean, I would like to borrow some silver. If I could do that, I would let you. Oh, there you I'm go. Gonna move to here. Sweet. So you'll stop him from popping in. Yep. Um, so I've got three icons with my building, so I get it for free. Anybody get a blue bonus, or is that the one we don't get? That's, That's the one we, we don't get. That's the one we don't get. All right, I get to buy anybody. I will get another deacon. Yes, sir. Now let's me rejigger my people. I'll get my builder guy here. Oh, and every time I do this, I get a white move. So we will have a thing in a second. Um, I get to put a worker down there. A conflict? A conflict. Yes, we will have a conflict in a second. Um, Good to know since I have a thief and a swindler in my hand. And then I could buy the peddler, but I choose not to. Although All right, so uh, ironic. conflict, I get one silver, I get a deed, uh, you guys get one corruption if you have at least one criminal. Nope. A smooth criminal. Do, 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 All right. And he does what we said. Oh, my gosh. We All right, so we need more uh, virtuous stuff, guys. He moves one. He pops this guy. He uh, moves one guy in, yep. and my guy takes him out. Yep. I put your guy back in your thing. Thank in your you. worker pool. All right. Go ahead, Jerry. All right. So, laborer comes off. Racketeer. So, by the way, yeah. um, if, if debt is the one that runs out, every one of our flipped reds is worth two extra victory points. That's what this means right here, which is pretty dang good for us. Well, yes. So, I mean, I don't think we have to worry about debt being the one to run out. I just don't want it to happen in, like, three turns, right? We have to slow down a little bit with our debt consumption. Sure. Because I have three debt right now, which is negative six victory points, which I'd love to be able to Oof, flip yeah. some uh, at some point here. So I think I'm going to try to pop this. What does this give me? Oh, let me get something for free? Yes, please, because I want this. All right, yeah, so I'm going to be in the middle for a while, I think, guys. So if I do a one... Oh, no, I can't I do can that. I can move two. Son of a gun. So I'm going to put her down. Nice. Oh, man, Peter, um, look at this. What? So it's a black, which will complete my first full set, and it gives me a victory point for every two books I've uh, gotten throughout the oh, game. Oh, wow. That's nice. Uh, all right. One, two, so I'm gonna build three. One, Jerry, two, do you have three. the silver to go one more space? Because he's going to pop this when he moves. I could just kill this guy, right? Well, that's not going to stop. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. And then he would move. I mean, well, then he'd pop this one. And either way, it's going to give him three um, in the next space to move down. I mean, it's, it's not. Then I can't... Well, what can I... I? Then I can only build here. Yeah, no, do your thing, man. You're fine, you're fine. If you want to flip a card, go ahead. I mean, I can kill this guy. 
It's up to you. If you want to kill him, we'll get you a reshuffle. Which one will... either way, right? I mean, you'll get you a reshuffle, which will move your corruption one. You'll be in debt land. Yeah, that's not great. He's gonna pop. That's too bad. Oh, yeah, well. that's fine. No worry about it. I will build this one. Flip a card. So again, our reds are gonna be worth more money at the rate we're going with so many debts getting. Uh, yeah, but I this gets resource. Oh, that is true. So, do I want a stone? Yeah, I'll take a stone at this point. Um, I mean, the sevens are only really, I guess, good for tons of victory points for you, which is of well, course I'm important. Start, I'm gonna transition to the, I think the gold. Yeah, that's a good call. I can pr the the crosses are the only one that you can kind of do the entire game, so I'm probably just gonna keep on doing crosses as long as I can. All right, yeah, you good, Jerry? Are you buying I the guy? I think I'm done. Am I buying him? You're not buying him, right? I could buy him. That would once again trigger a shuffle and one corruption move if you care. I don't wanna. Why would that trigger a shuffle? Because you get his. Oh, I have yeah, no, I'm... I'm, I'm going to start need to right. go into these places, although I'm not this turn, so... Oh, but it does kill a guy there. Did you kill he's a guy there? The front. Oh, no, I did not. So so there you go. Kill him. Sweet. So he's trashing the... Oh, and that means it doesn't pop, because now it's uh, here and here. Wait, there why did you just add two? Huh? He popped a fryer oh. who had a white move that put two in the next All right, place. so it's my turn? Or one, one space back. So this goes off, it flips... I am going to get a gold. Oops. I would like to get one of those cards as well, but that's not going to happen. Um, so these two move down. I am going to pay, play the Swindler, So which moves my Corruption right away, right, we said? Correct. Uh, and I go one, two, three to here. You get two immediate gold. Oh, no, it's when he falls off you get two gold. Never mind. Yeah, no, trust me. I, I, I want that. But we're not we're not there yet. Uh, all right, so I'm going to build a building there. Uh, I'm going to use this as a hammer, uh, and then I got four more stones, so I'm just going to spend it all. I spend it all to give you two bags eventually. Um, yep. But for now, I'm going to get to buy a card for free and destroy his worker. So that is going to use all nice. my stone though. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely getting this person, which gives me a corruption immediately. So yeah, there's that. Oh, a debt, you a mean? debt. Yeah, wasn't great, but I mean that's what he comes with for the low, low price of two things. I mean maybe I shouldn't get this person. He really moves my debt up. I really need to find a way to get rid of uh, debt cards, like to start flipping them better, but. I don't have that right now. Uh, oh, I don't have money to buy the thing on my space, uh, so I am done. All right, so he moved here. He's popping it. He places two workers here. Just gonna pop them. One, two. Killed by my worker. Yep, there. I got your worker. Thank you. And we are down to. Uh... Oh, he still got ten workers. We're staying pretty even there. All right, my laborer drops off. I got Abbott, Deacon. Oh, I don't have another uh, cross. So I guess I'll play... <laughs> I'll play my Financer. Get two more silver that I don't need. So I'll discard my Squire again. Just like I did last time I saw that guy. And I can move... I have to move three. I'm gonna go one, two, three. And spend... Three oh wait, I could have trashed a card last round, sorry. Yeah, I mean yeah, I'm getting rid of almost all my inkwells. I love this game, but there is a definitely a lot of stuff that's easy to miss. Oh, yes. did you take a debt to do that? No, I used the woodcutter action. Ah, gotcha. Alright, yeah. Because that the other option is to just take keep taking debt, but that doesn't seem good right now. No. Alright, um, and I'm not buying the guy here, am I? Nope. So I am done. Ooh, Cavalier seems good for me as well. Okay. So have we moved him? No. Nope. Uh, nope. So he's moving three. One, two, three. Just putting a guy down. I got it. 
right. And then he's uh, going to move past it. all those places with two guys and just put a guy down here. <laughs> all right. So that's good. Well, I just cleared that space, so we're we're okay there. Did you just put a guy yeah. down here, Mike? Uh, Weren't you supposed to put a guy here? Or did he already pop it? Oh, no, you're correct. Uh, I, did, I do get a new guy there, so yes, thank you. I am putting down a sculptor. You didn't buy another yellow, did you, by any chance? No. You no. just keep buying blue, okay. which helps no one. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, I, I gotta get the ones I can well, get, Well, of course. We need the victory points. All right, so one, two, three. Nice. And I am going to build for seven, because I have one, two, oh, I'm sorry. three, I see, yeah, four, five, six, seven. So, use all my stone. And I will put it. So your first one gets you double here. So. Nice. Yes. Which kills one of his guys. Nice. Get it. And you get to flip something. And then I get to flip something. And you get a resource. You get a resource. Nice. And I will take a gold. All oh, right. look at He's you moving. getting gold. He's moving to you, Peter. Dropping a guy off. Oops. Go ahead. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, oh wait, oh, I gotta oh. reshuffle. Hold on. Hold on. I'm reshuffling, so I have no skulls, so this moves over here. So next yeah. turn, we do not do the clash. We're gonna do the clash. Correct. All right. So. Now, if I get th something that moves me, when the oh wait, I have to decide whether I want to buy somebody or not. Yes, I do want to buy this guy. Yeah, he's pretty so good. Let's me discard him. He's pretty good. He's about to do a pretty nasty turn, Peter. If you can take out a guy here or here, that'd be really good for us. Uh, I mean, I think I just got to build in the I middle. Mean, if, if, yeah, no, if, if you're going to do I, a huge job, uh, that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I think I've got to. So this moves me two. One, two. I mean, I've got to start building in the middle. I'm so now, far behind. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, you, you are not giving us many victory points yet. <laughs> All right, so... Jer Jerry and I are doing fun. For yes, no, points. no, you guys are doing way better than me. But I'm about to start pulling my weight, I think. So I get one, oh, two, three fleur de -lis naturally. And then I can spend two more gold to put... I don't know, hold on. You get more than that. You get more than that, Oh, dude. four. You get one, two, three, four, five oh, naturally. naturally. So I could spend three more to get four, but that doesn't seem... I, I would not recommend that unless it's going to give you extra... I mean, it almost confidence. does, though, actually. I mean, it literally puts two in this space, which is True. pretty good. But three is a lot, right? Um, yeah, I mean, three is what you usually want to go for. All right, so I'm going to get three three workers there, which will pop it. So one's going to go here. One's going to go here. One's going to go in, which gets me an ink and a stone. And then I put a person here. All the resources you wanted. <laughs> yes, I mean, yes, not even a little bit, but that's fine. I mean, you could have paid one. Oh, you don't have any silver. Gosh, dude. Dude, I, I haven't had money right. this entire game. It's no, no this bueno. This guy's going here. He's trashing him. And reshuffle means he adds two more workers. So he's got four here. And then one's going to go in. One's going to go here. This is not great. One's going to go here. One's going to go in. And get killed by my guy. Yep. Or my guy, right? We want it to here. be my guy. No, we want it to be my guy because I'm not using my workers. No, no, me. that's the point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes. <laughs> that is yours. We are down to eight workers by him, by the way. Uh, he's only going to be one, forever. though. He's He'll be fine. Oh, yes. Good call. All right. Uh, I'm going. Oh, I should have drawn a card. Um, do, 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 oh, do, 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 do. Do, 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 I didn't spend do, my money. Do, do, do. Now, it doesn't automatically shuffle, right? Only when I need to draw and there's nothing available? Correct. When you need to draw and there's nothing available, that's when it triggers a shuffle. Oh, wait. I moved to you, Mike. So rejigger re if you want. Oh. Uh, yes. Oh, we can? No, no. Ju no, no, just just, me. just Mike because no. I moved he to his He landed space. on me. He landed on me. Uh, that was actually very good. I will make the deacon last long. I mean, I, I oh, absolutely and... love this game, but there are so many little, little, little rules that like are so easy to miss like that. Um, so I've got, I've actually got four now. She's moving me one. So yeah, sure, I'll go here. Oh wait, that's. Oh, really... I want to move one next turn if I can. Hmm. Uh, is there a way to move one? Don't have a way to move one. Oh, I do. My thief. 
Hey, Peter, get a gold. Okay. Spotty yellow. Yeah, I mean, at some point, I'm going to have to start using my gold. So I think I am going to start putting four out at some point. Um, just because I feel like we're getting close to the end of the game, and I've got a lot of resources built up at this point. Um, and I could buy this courier, but I now, will not. Now, would I move one corruption for each thief I have on the board? Is that how it works? Correct. Well, each 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 skull icon, criminal icon oh, on the board. That's not great. Okay. I am moving one corruption, by the way. All right, I'm done. So he moves just one, right, and puts a guy here? Yep, I got it. Oh, okay, thanks. Oh, and I did not put one of my workers down. I keep on forgetting that. And I should have gotten a virtue move. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot. All right, go ahead, Jerry. Well, yeah, I mean, again, I uh, I love it. I just there, it's easy to miss stuff, and because it's so solitary, where you're just kind of focusing on your own. I mean, part of the reason, and I apologize for my slow play sometimes, but I'm trying to follow what you guys are doing so everybody else can follow what you're doing. So I'm not always prepared for when my turn comes around. So I do apologize for that. Sure. Uh, hey, Mike, find out if the, is there somebody I want to buy. All right. Well, well. Do I want a bag? There's nobody I really want to buy here, which kind of sucks. Or do I want this guy? Oh, man, Peter, look at this. Oh, wait, not that one. Uh, where is it? This one that I'm on. One victory point for every uh, cross in my deck, which is all I bought. <laughs> yeah, I mean, seems good. I'm trying to figure out if there's somebody I want to buy for free, because I'm about to get that at the start of my turn. So if somebody could clear some people off, because I don't like any of these people, that'd be great. Yeah, the only problem is I can't clear them unless they're a skull or a cross, but the actions I'm well, taking. Well, Jerry's, Jerry's the only one to go before me, so it doesn't really matter. I, to, I can get gold, or I can get silver. Why would I want silver? Moving more, hiring people, dismissing people. Let me tell you. Who oh wait, wants I can move. Silver? I can move an additional one. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Nice. Right. Yeah, um, he has get, he has wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You were here, right? Why don't you just go one, two, three, and not yeah. pay the silver? He's not paying a silver. It was from his uh, horse. But you're right. Either I mean, way. <laughs> yeah. Either way, you <laughs> could have just moved three to get there. What was I trying to do? I don't know. You were all know. fancy. Oh, wait. I was trying to do it with a two? Oh, uh, whatever. All right, so there's a conflict. Wait, you. what action did you take, Jerry? Do you, you do the action first? Yeah, yeah conflict. Yeah, conflict is the last okay. thing before you draw back up. Well, but here's where you destroy. That's where you dismiss somebody. This is where right. the conflict happens. Oh, 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 gotcha. All right, um... You got a lot of bags, buddy. Oh, so I could have, if I had dismissed somebody who, yeah, if I went yeah, here. You may want to start getting ink wells to start help, like getting victory points here. Well, he he was gonna do gold more than ink, but either way, it's fine. I mean, so I'm gonna go here instead, and dismiss him for one. Yep, which gets you a virtue move. Gets me a virtue move before the conflict. Yep, which is definitely better. Definitely, definitely better. Right. And then I'm going to take a... Do I want... I could do another virtue move if I build. Correct. Do it, man. Which I'm going to do. Wait, um, how do you get to three? Uh, oh, you have... No, yeah, there's no way for you no, to build right now. I don't. So I'm going to bag. So, so one, two, I'm going to bag. Five, six, seven. You get three eight. ink blots. Or so four can... ink blots if you do eight. There you go. You can definitely get at least one manuscript, even if you don't care about it. I mean, it's a victory point. I mean, point, there are right? good ones for you all. Like, look, Peter, if you can manage to get this manuscript, it's worth an extra victory point for every two workers you have in the castle. All right. And so. Oh, that now is conflict good. Goes off. Yeah, if I have six. All right. So, conflict. What are we getting? Oh, we get to reorder. Peter. Oh, we do. Oh, that is yes. that is super good because that that way I don't have to buy somebody right now, and instead I could do my swindler to drop off my gold, and that kills one of the guys. Nice. Yeah, that's the maze. That's one of the most important things right now. All right, he's moving two. 
Get in your home. He's destroying her, which is a shuffle. So that means he's going to place two. So one's going in where my guy destroys him. One's going over here. One's going over here. All right. He's going to move two to blank space. So we're... Oh, and I get two gold. I mean, I'm going to try to just stay inside as much as possible. And just because look how much gold I have and I'm about to get two more. Yeah, I mean, we need we need victory points. I think our bigger danger right now is not getting to the 160. I don't think we're going to make that yet. All right. Um, so I'm just going to play because this lets me flip. That seems good. If I had six, would I do the action twice? I guess I can't get the six. I can get close. You had six? Six people there. But I can't get to six. Yeah! I, I can only get to five. Um, so it doesn't matter. But this space is super important for me because it lets me flip my deck cards. So I'm going to try to get oh, here yeah, as much say. as possible. Now, hold on. So I do get one corruption move. But I don't get two, thankfully, because I dropped off my other person. Yes. So that worked. But I really wanted to just move one. All right. So I've got... Two, or I got one, two, three, four, five. I am going to spend three gold. I mean, I just have too much gold to get to eight, right? Yep. Uh, which lets me put four in. Uh, four workers plus one on my spot. Yeah, I'll grab some of them. Yep. So it's one, two. So they go to the outside three. here. So one more. Okay, so you get a flip. You can put that on your spot. Yep. All right. So I get a flip. And then I get a resource. I actually think I'm going to get an inkwell. I think I am going to try to get that six one if I can. Um, I mean, odds aren't high, but if I can, I can, right? Sure. Um, and then I draw a card. Actually, I have a tinker that gives me an inkwell, too. Oh, whoa, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I had to reshuffle. Uh, I do have a thing, so I get a corruption move. But that doesn't do anything. All right, we're good. All right, so he moves two and puts a guy down. Hey, I got a squire. We are down to I got a squire for hire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the problem is we're all inside, so he's just going to be able to put workers and win. Huh. Because I was going to keep on doing books, but maybe I should stop... Ah, crap. Oh, wait a minute. I should draw a card. Let's see. He's about to move three, and then he's going to pop that. He's going to pop another one. At least we have some people in some of those spots, so it might be okay. Well, here I'm going to get six. So I'm going to move two in pretty quick. I mean, I, I've been building up for this moment the whole game, so I hate to say it, but I, I, I might need to be selfish for the next few turns. Right, I'm going to play this guy. Because you're a bad person? I mean... What? Okay. I mean, there's a lot of victory points for us, so maybe this is a bad move, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to pay uh, three to get right back to where I started. So I'm here. Oh, and I get to reshuffle. Or re-move yep. stuff. Um, I've got three, four... Oh. So I'll spend one inkwell to get to five. Um, I get that... I'm going to hire this guy for... Oh, when I get a virtue move, and then when I hire this guy, I get another virtue move. So I am going to pop this turn. Um, yeah. So uh, if you have at least one criminal, gain one corruption yeah, move. So I'm going to pop next turn. We do. We, we kind of want to pop. We, what else? we can't survive forever. Nothing else? No, that's oh, it. Gotcha. All right. And I put another guy. Oh, there's down a virtue here, so we're super move protected here. here. So I might actually All right, so get this person one, just to get the virtue two, move. Two, three. He's gonna pop. I know. I'm gonna have to. What is this shuffle? What does that do? Put two down. Yeah. Jeez. Two on his spot. Yep. So two here. Then. Then they're gonna spread. I mean, it's not getting them to the middle is not the worst thing in the world because it gets rid of some of them. Oh yeah, we have things in the middle. And the other guy, Ooh, uh, this is a too. second one in here, though, which isn't the best. Oh, it's about to be a third oh, one. Oh, it's the third, yep, so they're getting into the castle. Now, does that destroy my guy or no? No. They can coexist in the castle. But they do go like that. Oh, that's good. Takes away another yep. one of his workers. 
Yeah, I mean, oh, he only has four, though. Oof. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That is wrong. Hold on, hold on. Did they have three here? Yes. Yes. Oh, we lose the game, then. Wait, why? Because he can only have one in each of these spots. Or no, I guess one here, one here, one here. We are close to losing the game automatically. Wait, why can he only have one? Wait, what are you saying? He, the only place he piles up more than one person is the outside places. Every other place, he just immediately skips to the first available spots. So he's now one away from ending the game. So wait, he had three there, so it goes one, two. Oh. All right, so yeah. we didn't understand that. So that yeah, sorry. that's important. Um, but if I get... Now what's he going to do? He's going to move two, so we should be okay for the moment. <laughs> and as long as... And then he's down to five workers. I, I, no, I can get two into here. I mean, I could, no, I Jerry, could get here and destroy his person. Is it my turn? I mean, I, I, I can easily do that. I have a billion silver to move wherever I want, dude. And I cannot destroy I go, I anybody can... except on the outside. Well, I can start working on the inside, guys. Um, actually, yes, I'm gonna move two to here. All right, yeah, yeah. So we're good. I'll destroy one of his guys here, Mike. Okay. Uh, in a second. Does he... I mean, how does that work? He doesn't get two silver, obviously. I don't know. No, no, he doesn't. Because there can only be th four in a space, right? Or three. Does the fourth one get removed or the no. third one? The fourth one gets removed. But don't forget, it has to be at the end of the turn. So there's there's no way for you to do it by yourself. No, there is. Because I'm going to put four dudes in here, which moves two to here. Right. But then that place will pop as well and move inwards. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, the only way to pop him would be for more than one of us to get in that castle. I mean, but when I do that, I'm going to pop this and this at the same time, by the way, which is, yeah, I mean, I'm now at the height of my engine. The problem is it, it might have been too late, too little, too late. I mean, what's, uh, like, I've already got a lot of points. I might just try to play damage control and not even worry that much about what my actual action is for the rest of my turns. You know what I mean? I mean, because I am at the point where I'm going to start getting points, at least theoretically. Well, yes. And your points, castle strategy ramps up extremely quickly. Right. I mean, because if you look, I, don't, I guess you can't see my hand, but I got two more fleur de -lis in my hand for the next two turns and they're all move twos. So, yeah. That's so good. I'll be able to do a double pop here and a double pop here. Sure. Which seems good. Which would then pop this and... Oh, wait. Oh, actually, double pop here would be even better if I could get one money to move an extra space. You trash that guy, Jerry? Yeah. So he... well, luckily, the person underneath moves the same, and... thank God. <laughs> uh, so that gets rid of this guy. why it didn't go in but whatever just a note it's okay but if that guy went away and a one came up he would move one space and this action would send this guy straight to us losing <laughs> so we got lucky yes i mean yeah i don't know that we need to buy or trash right. except to avoid catastrophe right sure because this is going to double pop right. in a second too oh wait ooh. a minute ooh, peter not that this is necessarily the best action for me, but if I buy this manuscript, I get to put two workers anywhere, and I could put it where uh, his worker is, and then he would go away. Yes. All right, go ahead. So, All right, so it's my turn. Not that I want to go there again. <laughs> Wait, hold on. He moves, dude. He moves. Yeah, and just drops worker one. Down. Well, hold on. There's a dude next Shoot. to it. Shoot. And he's going to move one and pop there. Which, which... Yes, it's going to be a double pop. It's not going to be great. Oh, no, no, no. He'll, we will lose. We will lose if he does that. Wait, why? Because this is place two here, which would send one into the castle. No, 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 but I'm going to... Oh, yeah, if you get rid of that... I mean, I wasn't planning on getting rid of that. I could. No, I can't, because I can't move an extra one. Oh, you don't have anything to lose you through? Oh, I get, a, I get a coin here. All right, so this drops off. I do get a coin, and I get a when debt. You get a debt, which is good, because we need to end this dang game. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty negative. Dude. Um, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Doing... I don't want to auto lose. I at least want to make it to the end. You know what I mean? Even if we lose at that point. All right. So I move two. 
That's not going to move you far enough. I know. Well, hold on. I do have one oh, more have to one move another one. The question is... I mean, building here would be the best option if I could do it. Well, there's no... Oh. Again, no, no. Building here is the best way. Because then you're going to get like a 50 Cascades. And you'll get rid of the guy that will lose us the game. Okay. All right. So I'm going to move one extra. So I'm going to spend my coin to do that. All right. So how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. So I got to spend three again to get, get to, eight. to get four on. And you're almost out of workers. All right. I got one. You're going to grab them. Well, two moves. Oh, yeah, his goes away. So two, three. Yeah, you're going to have a... There's going to be a lot of stuff happening. So here, I'll, I'll organize it, okay? Okay, well, hold on. So, so this moves, this moves, and this moves. Oops. You got a two virtue movement. You so, got a two virtue move. Yep. So that's okay. kind of good. Now, but, which of the outside ones do you want to resolve first? Oh, unfortunately, that's only three. Uh, so let's move this one. All right. So get a stone and an ink. Because you know what I need most right now is stone and ink. All right. Uh, um, so then what do you want to do now? Let's do this one. So I move in. Right, I get so to flip, flip something, which gets me a resource, which gets me a gold back. Yeah, this is going to happen for a while. <laughs> okay, which one do you want to do now? Uh, let's do this one. Gets me two more virtue moves. Yep. Are you going to pop yet? Um, I mean, pop what? Oh, he's, he's at max. Oh, yeah. He's getting oh, okay. three red cards. All right, which one next? Oh, well, I guess we should do this one, right? Now we do all level ones before we do level twos. Okay, so this one, let's do this, I guess. So I get a free worker. You can get a card or a trash to call a card from your hand or your I mean, I think, top of your deck. I think I call the abbot. I don't yep. think I need you anymore, Mr. Abbot. All right, and here's your last one. So you're getting either a gold or you can move a worker in a level one tier to get uh, to get more pops if you want. I would do that. Yeah, so if I move here, I can pop to the middle again, right? So that... Or move this guy here, either one. Wait, what? Oh, pop to the middle again. Yeah, yeah, good call. Yeah, good yeah, call. no, no, no. I want to do this. All right, so now well, you does get popping another... any more than one to the middle help? Yeah, they're each worth three, three victory points, points each. Resource of your choice each time. Yeah, I mean, Jerry, get. I mean, uh, Peter, get a uh, stone and an ink. Yep, I got that. And then you get two resources of your choice. What happens to these guys? They just stay there. So I'm gonna keep In popping. The yeah, of course. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, gosh! No, every single one on level two will go to the castle afterwards. Oh gosh, that's pretty good. Oh, by the way, we forgot to put a worker here, or did we? No. No, no, you took out his worker that he's about to oh. place again. All right. So wait a minute. So you get uh, two resources of your choice. Did you get that already? No, I'll just get two more gold, I think, right? Yep. That seems... And then now you've got plus one max hand size. Oh, whoa, 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 so... wait a minute. Or do I want the ink? So I can I mean, buy... Yeah. Well, no, you, you want to be able to get this one. Which I just called this card. Hold on. Maybe I shouldn't have called this card for my deck. Well, I can get that one. No, no, no. Oh, no, Jerry. He wants to get this one because it's worth a victory point for every two of his workers on the castle. Oh. So it's going to like... So wait. So I should not have called this Abbot. No, call the Abbot and get two more ink, and you can buy it straight up no matter what your icons are. Oh, you don't have to have the icons here? No, no. You never need to have anything. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, so get two ink instead of two gold is what you're saying. Sure. Now, is that worth more victory points than me cascading worth... the crap out of the middle? Probably not. Well, you can do both if you get two more turns, right? Well, sure. Yes. I mean, this is going to be worth like 10 victory points. I mean, I only have four workers left is the part of the problem. Right. All right. Um, so you're done. You buying this guy? I mean, I have zero money. No. Well, I, oh, you have zero money. Never mind. All right. No, so he's I'm moving gonna... here. I need that guy. So he trashes this guy. <sighs> One, two, three. It's going to yeah, place two that. workers here, which pops that, which is going to pop Oh, whoa, whoa, well. guys, hold on, hold on. Before all that, stop. I had a clash. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I get I'll three red. One, two, three red. And one money. And one money. Hey, I'm not zero money. Yeah, I'll, switch. 
Everyone with at least one. Oh, this is good. Everyone with at least one criminal gets a debt, so we're closer to ending the game. Get a uh, debt, Jerry. Have... Oh, you no, don't, have a, I don't have a criminal? Never mind. I mean, is that good? I don't know. All right, so this guy's going in and getting killed by my guy. That one's fine. We do have a new guy in danger zone area. Um, well, he's going to move one, two, three to here. Is that safe? No. He's got four workers left. So, oh, no, it's not safe. What's that going to do? Uh, that's one worker each way. Which, I mean, that's two more workers, so that's not good. No, it's not. But um, if, so if I move... If I move one, I could get rid of that worker before he gets there. Um, oh, so I'll you haven't do done your turn. Yes. Yeah, you need to... Yeah, again, I think I am victory point machine at this point. Um, and you guys need to do damage control. All right, so I'll play my lender then. And I'll go... Uh, well, your victory point machine is basically run out, and so is Jerry's. So we just kind of need to end the game at this point. And if Jerry can get a few more things in, that's cool too. I mean, I'm gonna get this, and I'm and I could do one more cast, big cascade, probably. And so I'm going here. I guess I'm getting bags. Yeah, I don't have stone to build anything. So that's uh, crap. I yeah, I want to buy that guy. Well, no, no. So oh yeah, I have that's actually not bad. Three bags. I guess I might as well spend a silver to get a fourth bag. Get two gold. And I trash this guy. And I'll buy him, which will get me more victory points. Cost me oh, one. by the way, I, I killed this re... person. Or did I already kill somebody on my turn? Yeah, never mind. You already killed already... somebody. So there were two there. No, there couldn't have been two there. There's zero. Yeah, there was a... He, he just, just placed that guy there, there from, from Cascade. Oh. Like ten seconds ah. ago. <laughs> All right, um, I bought that guy. I can reshuffle my stuff. Well, while I decide if I want to, well, I want him at the end. Actually, I want her at the end, too, so. All right, I'm good. One, two, three. Drops a worker. It's a guy right back. Yeah, I'll try to just, well, I mean, I mean, the problem is you guys are going, too. But... Well, Jerry, I mean. Well, I think I can help. Yeah, whatever so, you can on. help with, that would be wonderful. All right, so this guy goes away. He comes down. I'm going to play him. Oh, crap. So we want to play criminals and stuff at this point. No, I can't that. do it. Yes. As soon as we can get the game over, the better. Well, I mean, at this point, either of them works, right? Or... Man, I wish I could do, like, minus moves. Do we favor one over the other? Because, I mean, I've got three flip blacks. It's not the worst thing in the world if we... I mean, they're each only worth one victory point. Each flipped red is worth two. But I don't think any of us have very many. No, no, no. I'm talking about for the end game scoring stuff. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Each black is worth an extra one victory point. Each red is worth an extra two victory points, depending on which one we do. Yeah, but this is negative Honestly, two victory points. Honestly, it's great if we points. get rid of them both. Well, this is negative two victory points for... Now, by the way, the second that one of them is revealed, every spot of his with two workers loses one worker. So we do get a little bit of a reprieve once we can get there for that final... All right, like, we'll do this. Let's see if I can do this right. All right, so... so get across one, and move, Jerry. Two. I'll do, I'll do it for you. All right, so I move here. I trash this guy. Which lets me discard. Sure. I'll discard. All right, so that gets me one, two, three, four, five gold. So you can put in three. So I can put in three, which would move one here. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Puts oh, one the okay, yes. Oh, the middle. Nice, dude. So you get two virtue right? moves. Which and I get two virtue moves opening. for that. Nice. Yep. Okay, yeah, you that was good. His worker. Now I and kill his guy. Yes. Now, do you have a when you take that action to get rid of the guy? No. Who's fixed? No. Okay. I can it's only true. do things on the outer ring to kill guys. Right. Well, that's okay. I mean, right. well, I mean, it is what it is, right? All right. Now, this is a horrific turn for us. I'm just warning you guys. So he moves Jerry three. Might have at least made a... Well, that's all I could do. I mean... no, no, I know, I know. So he's going here. Yeah, this is very bad. <laughs> uh, he's trashing this guy, which places two. Here? To the left. Oh, here. Here, which pops this. Oh. So one there. One there. 
one there, one there, one there, one there. Now this is a very dangerous spot again. He's going to move three, which would place two here and probably lose us the game. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, it would lose us the game if he went there. So Peter, if you can in any way do anything. I mean, I can only remove one at a time, right? Correct. I mean, so if I go here, wait a minute. He's moving one, two, three. So if I go here and remove this. Yeah. If you go there, you would save us if you can move one space. I mean, first unfortunately, you drop off I stuff. cannot. Oh. I, have a, I have a three, a three, and a two. Well, you get a virtue move and a hire. You can hire the person that's on him and just hope it helps. It's actually pretty good for you anyway. Okay. Uh, which lets me and rejigger. So the, these would move first, I'm assuming? Yes. Yeah, so I'll rejigger these two, actually. That seems good for me. Um, I'm probably going to conflict. Or I am going to well, conflict next turn. Yeah, again, I don't know if we get a turn here. I think we lose. Well, hold on. If I remove anybody... Wait. One, two, three. So if I get two extra moves, which I can't... Um, but I can remove this person or this person. I mean, I can remove people from the board from here. This is the one that's losing us the game. Wait, is he going to go Look, in? He's moving here. Yeah. Look, he moves here. He puts four here. Okay. Yep. One goes straight to there. One goes there. One goes there. This pop sends one back. He's got two guys here because he put four because he has four there. One goes. Well, no, in, goes I thought one cast. of these was moving. Is that right? I thought these were moving. He'll, that, that. he'll add two here. One will go there, one will go there. One. Oh, wait, you're right, you're right. Okay, so I think, yeah, we, we will survive. So I just I need we'll survive, to actually. get rid of at least one. Now, when he goes in here, who does he remove? I assume one of us. He, um, let me see what he does. I mean, go ahead and take your turn. All right. Well, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do. So if I go one, oh, two, three, off. four. Oh Jesus! He bumps off one of each player in that location, so both of you will lose a point. Well, I can I can get rid of this. That might help. Might might not help. Oh. So that's what I'm gonna. How can you get rid of that? That's what I'm gonna do. All right. So I'm gonna play. Oh, this moves one of my things. Also. Correct. So that's going to be a double pop. That's going to be a double pop. So I'm going to move this here, I think. Oh, wait. He only has three workers left, too. Oh, hold on. I could just I move this one to kill him, right? That's Dude, that has nothing to do with the problem. The problem's over here. <laughs> Peter, I, I would take the virtue move. We need to get to the end of the game here. No, no, no. This is going to pop stuff into the middle because I'm going to double build here. If you can get virtue moves, I will get virtue moves, and I'm going to draw two red cards. So if you can draw two red cards. I mean, I don't know. I mean, let's far. just do it. All right. One, two, three, four. Well, hold on. I get to move somebody. So I'm going to move this guy and get rid of his worker there. All right. Well, I mean, get, get, yeah, getting workers back in his pool is certainly good if we don't lose immediately. I don't think we lose immediately. Yep. Um, spend your one money, Peter, for the extra move. Yep. So I spend my one money. Um, so I'm going to build here. And I am going to build, uh, again, I have one, two, three, or I mean one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so I spend the three to get four up there. Four more workers. Yep. That's your last four, right? Well, and one's going to go here. Well, which would have killed this guy? Why, why is this guy already gone? I just killed this guy. Oh, okay. So that, all right. So I get four <laughs> in here. So I have one extra left. Two, three, four. All right. So first these pop. So you get a call or a uh, gain a guy. Why don't you? That's what I'm saying. If I get I rid of him. I this guy if we can survive. Well, okay, should survive. I get rid of him then? Get rid of this guy to see what we get as options, I yeah. guess. So you gain him and you get a discard a card from your hand. Two is I think a bit better 
Yeah, still not amazing. All right, we'll keep on going. So you still have three here. It's actually gonna be able to get rid of her too if you want. To. I mean, that's the question. Do I want to? What's the is, is the know. best case scenario for them to go here? We don't know. Well, well, we don't know what this icon would be. I mean, yeah, I think I think the best case scenario would be, and that would also give you one virtue move, so you might want to okay, get her anyway. So I get her and get a virtue move. So that's two anyway. Okay, so it doesn't matter. All right, and then over here, oh, you get two more virtue moves. That's good. That's very yes. Good. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I could have moved one here, which would have got me another person there. But yeah, yeah that but now move. you've moved all your guys out of here, so I can't kill them. Well, hold on. All right, and I then do get the moves here. You get two more resources of my choice, which again I think are gold. And this guy comes in. Wait, what? No, he's he only on two. Yeah, because these have to go out. No, they don't go out, dude. They don't go out. No, no, no. no. You never oh. move out from the. Uh... Oh, you don't. Correct. So wait, there should be two. And I thought there were two here. Hold on. <laughs> yes, that's how it was. That's how it was. Okay. All right, so we got plenty right, of victory so points now, I feel like. Yes, we just need to end. So he's moving two. He trashes her to one now, so I'll come in and try to save the day if I can. He's placing two workers here. So we're going to have multiple pops here. So one, two, in. And then this guy goes to right there. He's going to kick out your guys. But that's it for our popping. Okay, so we each lose we get, a get We each get a virtue a guy move here. and a resource. Why? Right? Oh, do we because get the resource our for get our kicked. getting kicked? No, no, no. He does not give you anything when he kicks you guys, unfortunately. Oh. oh. Well, that sucks. Yes. It would have been very good if he did, but he did not. So this is what we're, we're okay. talking about here. So, like, guys on that ring are worth two victory points apiece, but when your guy gets knocked out, normally you get a virtue move and a resource of your choice, but... What Mike is saying is we don't get that bump um, for this. All right, so I can... Oh, I mean, you can't get rid of both of them. I can move any... I can go... I, but I can move anywhere. What's uh, Shuffle would... No, Shuffle would kill us. So do I go here and get rid of that by taking the book? I mean, what... He would place two guys here, which would do a pop there, and then also a pop here. I mean, I think that's our only choice, right? Yeah, and I, I mean, I can also get rid of that card and see if. I mean, it can't be. Better. I mean, it can be better, but I don't know. I mean, it's. I mean, a three. Oh, I guess yeah. No matter what he moves, he's gonna pop something. And I mean, it's gonna right, cascade. Well, anyway. Oh, this is gonna cascade to here. Oh, I can. All right, so I can make it to the I conflict and draw two cards, and I can make it to Peter conflict. Well, hold on, on hold on, hold on. He, is he that's about good. to pop? two extra workers so we certainly need to remove at least one right because if he's i mean i'm removing one no matter what <sighs> oh he has none left no he has three left oh, okay all right so i'm going one two spend money spend money is that where i want to be that'll get me closer to popping as well i mean if you remove one from here it won't double pop well, dude, no. If he pops, oh, here, you we lose, lose we lose, we lose. You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I'm worried. All right, about. all right. So I'm gonna buy this book. So, well, actually, do I have enough? I might not have enough. No, I do. I have exactly enough. So this is very good because this gets me. Okay, it gets me a cleric card for victory points. Not that I care. Um, that gets me a black move and a white move. Because I did the action, I get a white move from my deacon. And I'm still not that close. I'm um, gonna pop. Peter and I will both conflict on our turns. I'm going to... Okay. I'm going to buy this guy for one. What did that give us? Three. I think yeah. that's better. Yeah, that should be better. Um, that cost me one more money. Um, and I get to shuffle, which will give me another white move. So I don't know what you guys will be doing, but I might pop as well. Um, and yeah, that should be everything I can do. All right, guys. So he's moving three. And what is X? X moves in. Oh, that's the best one. Look, that's all that happens. He's even putting more guys down. 
That was excellent. All right. My turn. So she comes off. We're going to have a conflict. Good. Oh, and you're going to move me. Oh, no, shoot. It moves if I had criminals, and I don't. Dang it. And then I'll put out bag lady here. <laughs> so that's one, two, three, four, five bags. Do I care about anything here? Where do you want me to take away a guy? Um, he's moving three. Oh, here, let me give you a choice. Here or here? Oh. Uh, then wherever you want, man. I don't know. Or do you want me to go further? I mean, I got rid of this worker. I forgot. Yeah, don't I forget. Could go one, <laughs> two. I could go here. Um. But that doesn't seem to be a, like, we still got the whole thing. I mean, what's he going to do? That's, I mean, where he's landing, luckily, is actually not bad. It's, again, sending one guy in and not adding any workers. How do we end well, this game? I'm, like, so four so and if, three. If Jerry's going to clash and get two of the four remaining deeds. So if you, you can't, can you get one virtue on your turn, Peter? Is there any for you to do that? I'm sure. I don't know how, but I'm sure. Like, I'll figure it out. Well, how was I going well, to make him virtue? I was going to do something to make him virtue, and I can't Well, remember. if I come here, look. I mean, if I pop in here. You don't have any. Dude, you have. Oh, you do have two workers left somehow. Oh, I should have drawn a card. Yeah, you don't even have enough workers to make that oh. place ever pop again, Peter. <sighs> Gosh. <laughs> now, you should get this if you can. I mean. Or get that one and get two virtue moves. There you go. That would end the game. What? Oh, that's how. Yeah, that's how he could do it. Yeah, so Peter, if you can move one next turn or three, one I can or three move would three get you there. for sure. Two would not. Yes. Yeah, then you could yes. get there, buy that manuscript, get uh, All right, get two get virtue moves. And don't forget one, that two, should three, like four, basically five. save us because we're gonna take off a bunch of workers when we do that. Of his. So his workers coming off. Nice. And I get two more ink. I mean, how are we taking off what a bunch do? of workers? Whenever we reveal the cards, oh right, 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 right. Anywhere he's doubled one up. One out of every pair. Yeah. Oh, so here. I mean, well, there aren't that many pairs left. All right, and now I. Can't it's literally play. two. <laughs> well, I mean, anything that puts more workers in his pool is good. Yes, for us. I don't disagree. Okay, so you wait. Jerry's conflicting. So if you have a criminal, gain a uh, black shift. I do not. Oh dang! And I don't either. All well, right. it doesn't matter if I buy this, right? Well, yes, yes, you're right, you're right. And then I shuffle. I mean, this would be worth so many victory points, but no, I, I got to buy that. Oh, and we get an extra turn afterward. So what, how does that work? Well, we got to still survive. We still lose if he kills us in the final turn. So we would like to get both shifts, if possible. Yes, that, that would be better for our victory points overall. Jerry, are you done? I believe so, yes. All right, so he's moving three... Oh, I could have killed... Oh, he killed the person. That's why. It didn't... Trash is this guy. And what one was the moves symbol? In. Oh, the symbol is just one moves in? Okay, so right now he's moving one, which is going to do and what? He's going to do... He's going to place one in either direction, which will not hurt us right now. And actually, it'll give us doubles, which you'll get rid of. Well, no, I go before that. Don't happen. forget. It'll yeah, be too yeah. late, but yes. But still, it's, it's a safe turn for him so we should okay, be okay. so this drops and off I... and i get another inkwell oh i can still get that other inkwell by the way i could probably buy both this well, ink, well maybe not yeah i mean if you, if you can do one on this turn and one on the next turn that would be amazing uh well i can do it if i put a wild out which i can do so that, sure get more red so that means me right? three one two three uh so i'm gonna buy this for four uh, so I have literally one, so I can spend three. One, oops, two, three. Oh, I'm going to be one short, unless I can get a black card somehow. Uh, but whatever. Uh, I get this. Yeah. Who's white, by the way? Who gets white moves? Oh, me. So get whatever resource. I got a stone. Yes. Uh, I moved two spaces, so actually, does anybody have... Uh, corrupt characters? Oh, I do, but I don't think that counts. I do. Doesn't affect you. Yeah. So, Jerry, you get a debt card. Okay. She gets as closer to having both. You want to get the other one. So the negative is, I, I didn't remove anything from the board. Um, Peter went all the way to the three red, which means that anyone who doesn't see what it says there, if you have at least one criminal. Ah, 
Got it, got it, got it. Well, again, no, Jerry, but it's a lot of points for us if we get these last two deck cards he out. It just cause... cost us t two victory points. Oh, well, yes, okay. Fair All enough. right, <laughs> so that is the end of my turn. Unfortunately, I didn't put any workers down, but I do get... Peter, here is three of these. Three reds. Uh, you get one. And uh, a coin. Silver. Hey, that, I haven't had a silver in, like, forever. All right, so Jerry, move your... Right, so we corruption. immediately remove one from every pair, which is... Only here and there. No, no, no. Right? There's there was more I saw, but I I got one over here. Yep. So there we go. Oh, he's back up to. All right. So we're. I mean, unless he pops here, which he doesn't even have a worker on, we're. So he's coming here, and he's sending one there. Well, let's see what the new card is. And one here. What's his next thing going to be? Three. One, two, three. Which is nothing. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so we are in the last turn of the game. So, Mike, you get two more turns. Jerry and I both get one more turn. Yep. I need a... Oh, I don't have the, the thing I need. You don't have any way to get the uh, the resource for that? I, I need one resource. And I don't think there's any way for me to do it. Because I got right. four... Eight, oh, no. I mean, the other option is to put two workers here and pop another one to the middle, right? Like, that's not the end of the world. Uh which would get me my inkwell, by the way. <laughs> and get rid of his dude. I'm not sure how that works if I'm out of workers. But do I choose the order? Like, first I put my dude here well, to kill well, him, and then I can put two in the middle? With the one I got back? Well, you, you don't actually ever put your guy there. You just remove Oh, those. okay. So it doesn't actually require a worker to do that. All right. So, I mean, there's the thing. Uh, what should I do for my final turn? You have two turns, don't forget. You do. Oh, that's true. Um, I mean, I'd like to get more books for victory points, but to be safer... Well, here, he's going to go... I think we're safe. ...to nothing space there, and then one, two, three. He's going to pop here, which would do... What does plus black do? Oh, whoever's turn it is gets a black card. That's actually good for us. And he puts a single worker down. Yeah, I mean, I think we're okay. So I'm not going to worry about him. I'm going to get as many victory points as I yep. can. I think that's right. So, um, oh, here we go. That gets me an immediate three to four victory point card. So I played. Oh, I don't have enough ink. I don't have anywhere near enough ink for that. Never mind. I can only get a three. So I can only get that book or that. Okay, that. so I'll go. I'll go one, two, three. <gasps> oh, you can't get me a book. You can only get me gold. I'll get this. Uh, it does cost my last inkwell. Oh, I forgot to get two from the financer and discard something. By the way, this isn't a game... I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll have afterthoughts, but this isn't a game I would want to play every day co-op, but it's actually really good. And I get a red card. One more victory point. Nothing wrong with that. And I get the black cleric card. So late in the game, I get a free uh, cross every turn. Well, but it's three victory points also. And I get a deacon move. I'm almost <laughs> to, uh, clashing. Um, and I draw two cards. Oh, uh, is there anyone worth buying here? No. Um, okay. All right. So, so he then moves he three. moves. One, two, three. Just puts the work. Down. Yep. Yep. All right. A whole ahead, lot of nada. Final right. turns for everybody. Well, Jerry, off. if you get rid of this. I know what I'm doing. But it doesn't matter. I don't think. So, one, two, three, four, five. Nice. And I'll buy this. Yep. Who gets yellow? So, flipped oh, reds are going to be worth... So, Jerry, if we get the last two debts, flipped reds are worth the most victory points. Well, if not, I have flip four debt. flipped debts, so... Okay. I have so three flipped we... debts. If we think we're going to get two more debts, then... I mean, we're going to get one for sure, right? Well, no, we're going to get one for sure here. So right. the question is, is there a way for me to get a debt on my turn? Okay. I can hire this guy on my last turn, worst case, to get us one more debt if we want. I mean... Oh, wait, I could kill this guy. Well, hold on. How many victory points is it going to get us? Because it's going to cost us two. Yeah, it, right now, yeah, right now I'm at five flipped debts. Well, so here's the thing. Getting these last two deaths, which is minus four victory points, makes every flipped red any of us have worth two victory points. I mean, I only have one. So that's right. one for Peter, uh, two more for me, one more for Jerry. So that is plus eight points for minus four points. 
Okay, so if we can get it while doing other stuff, we might as well. And here's the thing, Jerry. If you flip a red right now, it becomes plus four extra points, which is more than getting the plus two points Only from that take both debts, though. Well, we're, we're going to. I'm going to make it happen, so flip your red card. Well, right. hold on, hold on, hold on. So he's going to go here after he goes here, by the way. Oh, no, not yes. necessarily, because this is going to go away. So not necessarily. Um, so do you want me to get rid of this, I then? Mean, it's plus eight points for flip debts, too. Or plus nine points for flip debts. Oh, yeah, I know. But it's more. It's three points for each flip. It's uh, slightly more. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. Go ahead, uh, Jerry. Did you finish your turn? Or Peter? Yeah. No, well, do you, so I don't need to kill this guy, is what we're saying. No, I guess not. All right. I don't have a way to get. But I do got a. Who gets the bonus for yellow books? Me. I get a gold. I mean, I, I don't have enough guys to do. Oh, all right. So getting an ink doesn't do me. Oh, maybe I try to push in here, Mike. If I push in uh, here, sure. then I get to That'd flip some cards. Uh, but I don't get rid of anybody. I am still worried. He only has four left. Like, are we still worried about losing? Should I just literally play it safe and knock off one of these guys? I mean, here he's only adding one guy. So we're going to be down to three. And then the thing is, we don't know how far he's going to move. Um, if he only moves one, we're only putting one down. If he moves two, we're only putting one down. I think we're safe, dude. I think I think we're basically safe, especially with me being able to move anywhere with my money. Okay. I think we're safe. All right. So, unfortunately, I can't buy this. I'm literally one short. Uh, and I don't have a wild in my hand. Yeah, that's all right. So, oh. Wait, whenever I take a black move, I get a corruption, which isn't necessarily the best thing in the world. I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. All right. So I'm going to move up to three. So one, oops, one, two, three to here. And then I am going to add, I mean, I could add as many as I want, but basically I only have two left. So I'm going to add two to here. Yep. So I'll get rid of his worker. Okay. Oh wait, we never moved. The, we never moved after Jerry. Hold on. One, two, oh, three. Oh, so that yeah, that would happen before I had so to Jerry, make my choice. Jerry, you get another debt. Jerry, you get another debt, and we can see where he's moving now. Oh, he's moving here, which is nothing. Oh yeah, sorry. What What are you doing? Yeah, no, I grabbed the wrong one. You grab one of those. Oh, it, did he get a one? Yeah, awesome. So yeah, so he's gonna do nothing on your turn, and then I can. You can I counter can him. take out that guy, for example, or do something. Yeah. yeah. All right. So. So why did I get a debt? Because that's what his card said to do. Yeah, it's he gives you one debt and he uh, adds right, one. All right. So letter. I move one in and move these two sideways, right? Then yep. I get to move get... one sideways. So I'm going to move him here. Yep. Okay. Now you get a flip. I mean, I, I feel like flipping a debt is better, right? No, no, flipping a red is better because I'm going to get rid of the last debt, I said. Well, I mean, they're equivalent then. Oh, but re no, they red aren't. are worth more victory points. Yes. Uh, so this person then moves in. No, not yet, not yet. This first. You do the outer oh, okay. ones first. So you get a call or get somebody. I mean, is there anybody that does anything to get us? Not, not unless you've gotten victory books and stuff. So no, you're fine. Uh, All right, so then you get two in the castle well hold on do i want to i don't want to move where he is so i'll just grab this person which gets right. me a black move which i don't think actually can you grab this person peter and see if we can get a better movement value than three but three oh i get okay. a debt card by the way for getting that oh well, there you go then I'm, now i i'm more free to mess with him then. yes so we immediately get rid of one of each of his pairs or each of his pairs, one worker off. All right. So taking those deck cards was not a net gain in, in points, by the way. Well, it just got rid of more of his workers, so that's okay. Yes, but it cost us like four points. Okay. No, because well, no, because the red points yes. now score, Jerry. The red flipped ones now score. They would not have scored. Right, which is worth. Uh, flipped black ones would have scored, which right now no, has they a, both score would have now. Nine points. Now they both score. I Peter, you're done, right? Oh, they both, they score? both score now. Correct. They both score. Oh, okay. So I would have got resources when this goes in the middle. Resources aren't worth anything, right? Correct. 
All right. Uh, and just figured out what I'm doing for the most victory points at the end. <laughs> um, I'm going to play. I mean, if you get rid of this, he won't do anything. Do we know what he's going to do here? I guess it doesn't matter. He's, he, we are not in danger. We're fine. But here is where the good stuff comes in. Going to do that. So I will pop. Because I'm going to go. Uh, how much was she? One. I'm going to go one, two. Remember, I have a lot of money. <laughs> yes. So let's see. I currently have four bags. So I will spend eight silver. Oh, my gosh. To get to 12 bags and flip three of my red cards, all three of my uh, deeds. Seems good. To their victory point said. All right. That worked out. And his orange guy goes away. Um, Wait, why did you take clash? an orange guy from over here? Wouldn't it be this one that goes away? <laughs> like, the one you're literally on? That's me. Oh. No, that's me. Yeah, oh. I got rid of the one. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. All right, I got a deed. Uh, if you have one or more criminals, gain a... Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so that's it. So he moves uh, one, two, three. He places two here. They pop there, there, and there. It doesn't matter. All right, so everybody, uh, let's track our scores individually. We'll go through in order. So first is so this is like a uh, like a uh, Sentinels of the multi or not Sentinels um, Marvel Legendary where like whoever wins the most like is the the biggest contributor. <laughs> no, I know I'm okay, kidding. Right, I'm so kidding. It's definitely everyone, not. Everyone, uh, give yourself your vic your building victory points. What the heck is that? Oh yeah, the values of the top. Uh, so I get six for this one, and I get four for this one for ten. Are you writing this down, Mike, or something? No, yeah, uh, there's little tra trackers right here. Okay, so oh. let's go to Jerry. Let's let's let's, let's do it, just so people can see. Uh, all right, so Jerry gets 15, and then he's got two of these buildings built, so that's 13 more, and nine. So 15, 13, and nine is what? 28 and nine, 37. 37. Jerry got it. Okay. Yeah, and I only built a single big building for six. Six victory points. And Peter got ten. Yep. All right. Next is uh, manuscripts, so that should be easy for Jerry. All right, and Peter. Jerry, why don't you go first? We'll start with first player and just go around. The one, so you get one victory point. Again, Correct. if you look over here, um, different sets get different things. For the first one, you get one. All right, so I get all of one victory point as well. Mike's is a little bit more complicated, but way better. Yeah, so I get uh, so first I get set of sixteen four. for my first full set. Um, then nine for a set of three, so that's twenty-five. So again, we're looking. Then four. We're looking right here. Just to be clear. Yeah. So. So it's twenty-nine. A set of four is sixteen. Sorry. Sorry. And that's thirty-five total so far. Yeah, I already did it. Set of four, set of three, set of two. Okay. Now I also do my cleric cards, which are worth six more. So I'm at forty-one. Then I do all the ones that have a flag at the top. So I get one victory point for every... Oh, that was the wrong one. Oh, no, no, never mind. I got that too. I get one victory point for every Fleur de Lis, one for every cross, one for every pair of books. So I've got six, eight, nine books, so four points there. And I just draw my entire deck whenever I have to do this. <laughs> so I've got oh, you one... you count the Fleur de Lis on your cards? Correct. Oh. One, two, Hold on, you three, got one here, dude. One, five, six. Oh, thank you. And here. Oh, I got so I got six crosses and two fleur de lis. So that's eight more. So I'm at fifty three. Although that's pretty much all I'm gonna get. Um, okay. Oh, did we ever pop uh, this? Next, by the way. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did. I, I did it. I okay. forgot to move it. Okay. So next we do the castle. So Jerry. Oh, it's a one two. for outer, two for middle, three for per worker. So name. Jerry's got one, two. Yep. So Jerry's got two. I might have 50 bajillion. Uh, so it's three, six, nine, twelve. Well, let's just count how many I have. One, two, three, four, so five, six. He's 18. 18. Plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Times two, times is, two 18, is 18. So that's 36. 36. Plus one, two, three, four, five. 41. Nice. So, I got... so you're up to 52. All right. I wish there was a faster way to do this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we could have gotten the counters that have the five. No, no worries. Um, and then Peter, gain five more for your castle card. 
Yes, because I have the Castle Guard. Oops. Right, we're still a little shy on points. Let's see how we do with our victory point cards. So, um, first let's do the straight up points. So everybody lose two points for each unflipped well, uh, deck. All right, so let's go to Jerry. And then, so he's minus four. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's yep. nothing. Uh, so that's plus four. So these two even out, right? And then he's got six points from this. So six points. How about you, Peter? Uh, I'm not good. I'm not good. So I'm minus six. Oh, plus wow, eight. So I'm plus two. And plus six more. Plus two. Eight so more. plus eight. Nice. So where are you at, Mike? Are you, you're you good here. Got, I've got minus six, minus six here. So minus five and then plus 15. So I got plus 10. Yep. So minus so six 63. plus 16. Yep. All right. Now everybody gains. So we'll go back to Jerry. One for each flipped debt. Two for each flipped uh, deed. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So Jerry's at 54 total. All right. So I get All right. Peter. one for each debt. So that's three. Yeah, one for each debt, two for each. Uh, three plus four is seven. Yep. So it's seventy-two. 72. And you are and uh, one, one plus ten plus 11. ten, so eleven seventy-four. So eleven seventy-four. And I'm pretty sure that's definitely over one sixty. Oh, for sure, over one sixty. By a lot. <laughs> yes. All right. So together we have 146 plus. Um, I think we have 200. 146, 200 exactly right now. So that's it. Victory is ours. Now, I I, I did, you know, I, I looked back at the rules. It was too late for us to do it. Um, we were playing on super easy mode. Because standard difficulty is you get one random worker placed out at the start. Which means he's more likely to be popping, like, you know, getting uh, discard effects early. Literally just one? And then one? you can make it hard. Yes, and then you can make it harder by making it two and then three. Okay. Each each on different spots. Well, so here's the thing. Well, because you've seen that I've been playing a lot of these solo co-op Euro games lately. And most of them, for some reason, don't have difficulty variants. And I'm, I'm not really sure why. Be, probably because they just throw it in at the end, right? But... I'm glad this has something to make it more difficult. Now, how would you randomly draw them? Oh, it's it's the extra player cards, you know, like that say which uh, things you start in. Oh, so they would be on things like these that we were not got in, it basically. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't like the co-op nearly as much as the uh, competitive. Really? I thought there was a lot going on, but if I was going to play Viscounts with my wife, I'd rather play this than. <laughs> well, part of the problem for me is my card here only allowed me to remove guys for outer ring actions. So I couldn't, I basically felt I couldn't do anything on the inner rings. Well, you well so the alternate card you could have picked, Jerry, also got rid of guys with a build action, but would have given you two more icons. The thing was, it wouldn't have gotten you stone when we got gray books. That's the only difference. Although you got more blue Which, than you got gray. So what would have gotten Well, him? yes. Actually, well, it would have gotten him a uh, silver every time we did a blue. So that probably would have been better in the end. Well, I, yeah, him. I felt like I couldn't do anything except move around the outside rings so because I could not get rid of guys on the inside rings. Well, but, I mean, you helped us survive. Like, all right, yes, you didn't get the highest yeah, score of all of that us. Wasn't, that wasn't fun. Okay. All right. You get, you follow? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I definitely understand what you're saying. Um,. Like I understand, I was keep I was helping keep us alive, but because I had to help us keep us alive, it didn't feel like I was. I mean, but doing you got a lot of bonuses with these buildings, and I'm I'm actually shocked that your no, I didn't. Score wasn't as much it, because you got to score points on the inner rings. Yeah, I mean, this was a ton of points, but I mean, Mike had even more points. Right, but both of those are inner ring actions. Yeah, you follow. Yes. Although when we played competitively, Mike beat us by only by mostly doing oh, buildings. Oh yeah. No, but I didn't have I didn't have the choice. I I didn't feel I had the choice to pursue sure. other avenues. No, totally. And that's, that's I mean, what got and, 
and that card is the only one that does that. So that might, that might be a flawed card just in general. You know what I mean? Is it the only one that won't let you do a? Yeah, because some... the other the other one was. Uh, I mean, I deleted it already, <laughs> but it was a. Uh, it was build build or something, gets rid of a guy, and then. Which one do we not have for the top? We have cross. We don't have blue, which is uh, bags. B- yeah, so, so it was it was blue gets rid of a guy or puts a guy down, so you can actually put guys down. On oh the my other gosh, one. that was that would be and ridiculous. The was, I actually feel like yeah, that's the, the most powerful, a, right? The bottom was build a building to uh, get rid of a guy. Um, oh no, no, it's build a building and something else. Build a building and which thing? I mean, we can just count. <laughs> wait, wait, this doesn't matter for the stream. Well, no, 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 but yeah, I, I, I do think... want to talk about like overall thoughts at the end here. So, well, like. For example, here, literally, I took bag actions to get inks, which were completely worthless to me, just to get rid of a guy. Sure. Right. Whereas, oh, I, I know what it was, Jerry, because I can see what's missing. So, yeah, it was uh, bag gets rid of a uh, places a guy or gets rid of a guy. And then the bottom was uh, flirtily or manuscript. So either of the uh, would get rid of a guy. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's just this one card, but I felt like I couldn't go in the middle and do anything. Well, I'm, that's what I'm literally saying to you. That is the only card that is limited to only one sphere of the board. I mean, maybe you didn't have fun doing it, but I had fun with you keeping us alive so I could go freaking buck nuts at the end of the game and score a bazillion points. Cause I- well, it's not that the activity of the game... It just seemed to reduce the amount of choices I had, which yes. is not something I... Well, but I, I mean, that, that's true for all of us, right? At the end of the game, I could only build in the middle, right? Like, I don't know that that's limited to based on your card. I think... Well, just... I'll, also, I'll also say, having played Viscounts a lot more than you guys so far, building is the least, like, sexy option because it doesn't have a lot of extra combos. It's really there as, like, a secondary thing that gets you into other things as well. You can focus fully on building, but often you want to like do building half and something else half. Right. right. Ma- manuscripts and castle, you can go almost full in on and get a crud of victory points as you saw. Um, but yeah, like buildings is kind of like the weird one. Now, the, the one I have not tried out very much, but it is pretty interesting. Uh, there, is, there are people who'd go for a full bag strategy, which gets you a ton of victory points from... Um, I was about to say, how does that work? <laughs> So you you want to you want to get as many things as possible that move your virtue and your uh, corruption like lots of criminals is fine, and then you go ham with this thing and just get like crazy flips of things. Oh, okay. Um, it's not you know again it's not by itself, but it can, and it also gets you resources for other th- things. So you can do everything else without even having the right cards for it. You know what I mean? I mean I do like this game that- for how we play as gamers, right? We're not going to play the same game fifty seven times. I think this is a game that doesn't have unlimited replayability. I think there is a cap on it, but every time I've played it, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, and it's, I mean, the nice thing is these are small box games. Renegade sells them for like $35. Wait, so. really? This game's 35 yeah, bucks? I think oh, so. Oh, that's a All steal. The games are like these little tiny boxes. I mean, I'll look it up right now, but. I mean, does this, how small are these boards then? Oh my god, for 35 bucks, I would I mean, this is a steal. No, okay, it is it looks, not 35. It, looks like, it is 44. It's 30. It's yeah, it's 38 at online stores. Or okay, so 44 right. is uh What online store are you looking at? Game Nerds is 38, oh. Card House is 37, Walmart is 37. <laughs> Walmart? Really? This 55 retail. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, okay, that's more than I thought. I mean, I, I would have seen this as a 55, and I would pay 55 for this, because here's the thing. The, the, I mean, this is a me thing. This is definitely not a Mike thing. If I played this once every two years, I would have fun playing it every time, because I would have forgotten the main strategies. I would have forgotten all that stuff, and I would just sit down and enjoy the game for what it is. And I think for a $55 price point, you're going to play it three or four times, you know, exploring the different strategies and then you can go in and pay a bunch you know or or play it every other year at that point and i think you'd have fun doing it well i did i did enjoy it competitive i just didn't care for it as much 
uh, cooperative. Now, Mike's also but that's just Mike's me. also played solo. Um, now, now, Jerry, after playing it again, though, like. All right. Forget the fact that you were forced to do outside actions. Would you? Do you think you would have enjoyed it as much competitively the second, third, fourth time? Yeah, because there's new things I could try. Okay. Because they're like I, like like Mike said at the very beginning. I I very quickly found that okay, buildings are a dead end. Eventually, you need to transition into something else. Right. But I felt like my car didn't let me transition into something else. Because you felt you were forced. Well, at the end of the game, you kind of were. Because I was being selfish, and I had to stay in the middle, right? Like, to do, like I built up the entire game to do something, and I had to stay in the middle. I couldn't help anymore with the outside. But, yeah. I mean, but did, see, yeah, in addition, you're, you're, putting dudes you're, in the middle is far more valuable than putting dudes on the outside. Your, your player card is crap, Jerry. I totally agree with you. Like, that is just a bad one. I, I, I would, if I was designing this, I would never have had any card, not have anything that's inside. Because yeah, anytime yeah, cause it's you, kind of a, it's kind of a dead end for victory points, and it's fine. Like we're playing cooperatively and we won, which is fine. But it's just not as much fun when oh. you don't feel like you're building an engine with anything. Oh, it's not fine. It's amazing. We're freaking the best. It's not just fine that we won. It is amazing that we won because we are awesome. Uh-huh. We're the only streamed <laughs> channel that has ever won this cooperatively live. I mean, we might be we might be one of the only playthroughs of this cooperatively anywhere. I think we are probably <laughs> the only playthrough of this cooperatively anywhere, for sure. So, so Tome Saga that gives the cooperative thing is $30. Um, would I buy it just for a single one of the games? I mean, now you're talking know. 85 bucks, right? 55 retail plus 30 for Tome Saga. That's yes. a tough sell. Now, I, That's already, a... I already have Paladins. So, for two games, I think it's fine. Because it also has, like, extra cards. So, you, like, get, like, little expansion cards. Like, more stuff for your game. Um, but, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm reviewing Viscounts next week. So, people will hear my thoughts. But I think it's great. I mean, I agree. I, I'm very happy with this one, and you and you all know me. I don't. And you don't like, like yours, yeah. Very often. So, I mean, <laughs> that that says enough to me, right there, is that someone who doesn't like euros like this one. Um, and again, Jerry likes it competitively, but I don't know. Maybe you just don't like cooperative games. So I don't know why you're. I don't know why you're on our channel. Let's be honest. <laughs> with you guys, I would never want to play competitive. I just wanted to try it out. Like I, I wanted to see how competitive worked for my family. Oh yeah, sorry. I want to see how cooperative works for my family. You know. Sure. But anyway, I mean. Yeah. So I, I do think cooperatively. I'm not sure this is a family weight game. No. No, no, it's not. No, and and that's the problem. Um, There's already enough to think about that, considering how to counter the overlord, which is interesting. Like I thought all that. I, 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 I liked it. I'll be honest. I really enjoyed what we were doing, and. Maybe that was just because I was being, you know, very selfish at the end and I was just focusing on what I was trying to do. But I enjoyed overall trying to work together well, to figure this puzzle out. You spent a lot of time building up towards something and then it, then it came to fruition, well, which I think is very satisfying. But at the beginning right? of the game, I mean, this is what you guys don't realize. Because if you looked at my what I was doing halfway through the game... You're like, what the heck is this guy doing? He hasn't done anything useful. But I feel like I was doing what you were doing at the end of the game at the beginning. And I do agree with you that it is more satisfying to feel like you're building up at the beginning and just uh, like knocking him down at the beginning and then doing all the victory point scoring at the end. Whereas you were the opposite. You did all your scoring at the beginning and at the end you were just putting out fires. I was putting out fires for the first half of the game. That's all I really felt like I did. But I finally built up to something. Um, And I could see where it would be less satisfying where you're putting out fires late in the game because you've already done what you're gonna do, which was building your buildings. Yeah, I think buildings have to lead to something else. Yes, they do. And yeah, your card definitely does not allow that. 
if you want to like still be a team player. <laughs> So l- so let me ask you this question though. Do you feel like you were better at playing the base game after playing this? Like w- was this was this a good training exercise? A good way to introduce gamers to the game. So let's say I bought this game, right? And I know Mike would not play this competitively the first time he played it. Like because of his personality, whatever else, because of whatever reasons he would not play this the first time but he would play it cooperatively right and so we're all learning together is this a good training tool to get him into the full competitive game i mean my opinion would be only if people don't mind losing horribly because i think you would lose pretty quickly if you're trying to like play good strategy because you all played competitive with me before you already had an idea of how to score points so you right. were able to layer on that additional consideration of how do I stop the Overlord? I um, think, yeah, I think the additional like stuff going on with the Overlord and tracking what it, he's doing would be overwhelming. For a new player. I think it'd be much easier to learn the competitive would, than to use this as a trick. So, Jerry, so you're saying... I'd be t- I would have been totally lost if we started off with this. But even though that Mike, who had played before, could help you through your actions. Or do you feel like that leads too much to alpha player at that point then? So I mean, the other... me, I wouldn't pay attention to what Mike was doing with the Overlord, so I wouldn't understand what was going on. Because as a matter of fact, at the end, I was kind of waiting for him to tell us where things were going to happen. Right? Right. Now, part I mean, of that I... is because we had one small card that wasn't located in my my field of view in TTS. So I had no idea what the overlord or the bad guy was going to even do. Now I, the nice thing is I realized, are you, do you guys notice this? They do make most of them make sense with the iconography. Well, right. Like the white the moves left gain two. Puts, so it, yeah, puts yeah, two to the left. left. Black moves two to the right. The shuffle up. And the dead one is one clear. Each. The shu- the shuffle and the X are the only ones that like you kind of got it. No, the shuffle like, makes sense. Look, there are two arrows on the shuffle symbol. I'm looking at it right now. One each way. So you put one each way. Yeah, I'm talking about the shuffle at the top that adds two guys. Oh, 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 yeah. To its current space. Well, I mean, the arrow kind of points to its current thing. I mean, I mean yeah. I'm stretching. And the, and the X the X is a bullseye, I guess. Like they're heading towards the castle. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, the plus doesn't, the plus doesn't jive with me the most. The, uh, debt. So wait, what is the debt there? So they get a dude. The current player whose turn just finished gets a debt. Oh, that's what the black place. person is, is the current player. Yeah, 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 Gets a debt. Which, I mean, honestly, here's what I would do if I wanted to play this co-op to teach somebody. This is not at all an official thing, but it should work fine. Uh, the solo bot, I see no reason why it wouldn't function, and it is in the base game as well. I see no reason why it wouldn't function with multiple players, because it doesn't do anything that relies on a single player. It just takes a turn like any other player. So what I would do is the same way that a uh, few games do uh, their solo or uh, their co-op mode. Uh, Scythe's co-op does this as well. Just have both players play. It's okay if they do things that help each other out. Uh, have the AI take its turn, and then you average your scores at the end, and your average has to beat the AI. Or you have to both beat the AI if you want to be more chance. So, so you give it to, you'd have two AIs easier, or one AI? Say, no, no, one AI, and just either average your scores and compare it to the AI score, or... Um, both need to beat it. I, I think both need to beat it is a better way. I, I think that's what... Well, the AI is the AI is crazy hard. Well, yeah, sure. <laughs> I've only beaten it once. So that's the only reason I would maybe say, at least teaching a player, I'd say average would be fine, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I like this one. I, I like this one a lot. Yeah. I like it as a competitive game. I enjoyed it. Cooperative. Jerry, well, you didn't like what you were doing at the end. So that's, it's hard to say. But, like, I would like to try it at higher difficulty levels. I like the fact that they gave us higher difficulty levels as an option. Um, so I would like to try that at some point. Yeah, I think we'd have to rush to the end game because they'd be putting pressure on us much faster. Sure. Yeah. Well, anyway. Which I guess is... All right. Well, any final words for anybody? Jerry says, nope. eat more chicken. 
Yes. That's a uh, Chick Fil A slogan uh, for those of you that not are in that are not in Maryland. Is Chick Fil A like <laughs> Maryland like focused? No. No, no, no. It's like I've been I've been in North Carolina and stuff. Oh, okay. All right. So it's definitely at least East Coast. Yes. Yes. That is more of an East Coast slogan. So uh, don't eat more chicken. That was just a uh, a random a random Peterism, which yes. I feel like. If you've been a uh, fan of us long enough, you know I say random stuff every once in a while. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us, and we are looking forward to playing with you at the next stop. That didn't sound good either, did it? <laughs> that sounded a little weird. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>